Hey everybody, welcome back to another Case Break, and tonight we're breaking 2019 Topps Heritage Minor League Edition. We already did one box in the preview video, and I forgot to open the box topper on that, so we'll start with that one. There's still five more boxes to go um, in break A, as there are six boxes per round, and we have a grand total of... Uh, what do we got here? Eight breaks to do tonight. So here are all the folks in break A again. Um, I think the, the hits that we got out of the preview video was Justin Jay getting a Trevor Larnock, and there was um, a coin in there. I can't remember off the top of my head who the coin was. Let me see if I have it handy. Jesus Lusardo for the A's. So that one went to Cam S. So let's get started here. Thanks, everybody, for being here on this Sunday night. Casey Mize is the hit. Casey Mize going to Dragon Fan. Tim, that's not an autograph. Unfortunately, but still pretty cool. So that is the box loader, and let's get started on this. There are 18 packs per box with eight cards per pack, and each box has one relic and also one autograph. What's my P.O. box number? That would be P.O. box 402. It should be in the description. There's another box loader. I guess we'll open that one first so we don't forget about it again. All right, so the box loader. These usually, I'm trying to think out of all the boxes of Heritage I've opened, I don't think I've ever found an actually an autographed one, so I don't even know if they do have autographs, but this is a Trevor John Larnock for the Twins, and Andrew Smith says, Hi, Eric, first Super Chat. Andrew, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Make sure you check out Andrew's channel, guys, to give him some support. Thank you very much, Andrew, for your support. And I think I saw you in this break a couple times. So best of luck to you tonight, Andrew. Did we do any flea markets recently? My brother did one today, but I wasn't able to go because my wife was running a race and I had to watch all the kids. He said he found a bunch of great stuff. He said there's this one guy that had a bunch of packs for a dollar and it was filled with like 1993 Top Series 1 packs. Um, what else did he find? I forget what else. I think he found a box. He bought a whole box of stuff for 20 bucks. A whole bunch of vintage cards in there for 20 bucks. Um, so he had some good finds. He bought a Derek Jeter 93 upper deck rookie card yesterday on our trips for two bucks. Evans Vlogs and Singing with a $2 Canadian Super Chat says 100 subs. Let's try to help him out. Evans, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And uh, we went out yesterday and found some stuff. I'll probably put all three stops in one video for you guys and put that up sometime this week. What card are we most looking for? Well, obviously Wander Franco's, and there's our hit. That is going to be Nick Gordon from the Rochester Red Wings. So the thing that really stinks about this is I don't know exactly all of the team um, affiliates, and they don't tell you what team they belong to so dragon fan tim says twins thank you very much dragon fan so that goes to, to uh justin J. so you guys are gonna have to look up a lot of these uh the hits at least i'll if i know them i'll shout them out but probably about half the time it'll be like a single a one that i won't know there's taylor trammell uh he's actually on the i think that might be in his reds uniform right there the thing that's gonna take a long time when sorting these is i'm gonna have to go through and research every card and see what team they belong to that's a uh just a redemption card for winning a pro debut there's only two of those winners though so it's like really really tough oh it's it's awful it is absolutely awful to sort what i did last year when i did this sugar phantom is i actually actually sorted them by number and uh, put them all in sequential order all i don't know 1500 cards per round or whatever and then I went through each number and figured out what team. That way I could do, you know, because you probably get like maybe three or four cards of each. I just felt that would be faster than, I, I just didn't know another way to do it. Going one card at a time and looking up who they belong to. That would have taken me all day, actually all week, all month to do it that way. Casey Mize, Brendan Rogers from the Rockies. Tim Tebow, fantastic feats. As he slips out of my hand. Tim Tebow, fantastic feats for the Mets. Evans Vlogs and Singing says, I'm using all my Google Play money. Evans Vlogs and Singing, thank you very much. You should put each team in a separate pile as you go. That I, I don't really have the space for that. And like I said, 
I, I don't know every single minor league affiliate, so, like, I know that Lusardo's for the A's, but I know Luis Robert's for the White Sox, but the Smokies, not really sure about that, so I'd have to double-check that, and then it would just take forever. So, this will be my project for the next few weeks. After sorting out Bowman Chrome, I'm going to have to do this bad boy. And there's our hit, Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas, and by the way, the numbered card that someone asked is out of 50, out of 50. Alec Thomas from the Osprey. Um, Osprey, is that the Braves? Um, no, Diamondbacks, it looks like. Wes Cuthrell with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Wes. I think it's the Diamondbacks. Again, nothing's official until I actually sort them out. But if that is the D-backs indeed, then that goes to Mark J. We almost need to... I don't know, have um, Dra Dragon Fan Tim, thank you very much. Dragon Fan Tim will be the official affiliate announcer. Evans Vlogs and Singing with a Dollar Canadian Super Chat. Thank you very much, Evans. Make sure you check him out. He's trying to get to 100 subs. Let's help him get there tonight. All right, this will round off box number one. Franco is a redemption in this product. That's kind of disappointing. Still, at least it's a Franco. We found a bunch of him as redemptions in Sterling, if you recall. I think we found seven total Franco autos, and six of them were redemptions. Hey, All About the Hobby says the variations in this are confusing. Got sa same photo cards with different card numbers. All About the Hobby, thank you very much. All About the Hobby has a subscription box at the subscription company. We opened that yesterday. So if you have any questions about All About the Hobby, now's your chance. Make sure you check out their channel right there. And uh, give them some subs. There's the Wander Franco Hot Rods. Travis Swaggerty. Jordan Alvarez. Going to be the rookie of the year, it looks like. For the Astros. And that's that box in the books. Moving on to box number three of six. Yeah, how about the Pirates firing Clint Hurdle? And he wasn't the only casualty. Also, Joe Madden got let go. Or not renewed, so basically fired. Clint Hurdle got fired. He still had two years left on his contract, and they said, that's enough. Thank you for your service. And Wes Cuthrell with a $2 super chat says, I didn't know you could use your Google Play money. Wes, thank you very much. I guess you can use Google Play money since I guess YouTube and Google are basically one and the same. Thank you very much. Make sure you guys check out Wes's channel, everybody. And the Phillies fired Kapler. I did not know that. I guess some of these games now are, are have gone final. They all started at three, so they should all be finalized. And some of them will probably, some of the coaches or managers might get fired after the season. I haven't heard about Kapler yet. That's the first time I heard, so I don't know if that's actually true or not. But yeah, Clint Hurdle, I guess he lost... Lost control of the clubhouse, and um, honestly, if you're going to fire Clint Hurdle, then Neil Huntington has to go as well. Neil Huntington's the one that gave him the uh, crappy players that we had. Joe Madden to the Pirates, jabs to the honey hole, 357 MAGA. Yeah, I was, um, I was looking at when the Pirates announced that Clint Hurdle had been fired. I was reading through the, the tweet replies to the Pirates' official account, the announcement and a lot of people were clamoring to have Joe Madden come on over to Pittsburgh, which is kind of funny because Joe Madden is like or has been like enemy number one around these parts for the last few seasons. There's Adrian Morjohn, and that one is a blue. Ruben says Kapler has been fired, so that was a troll. Got it. That's out of 99. Tim Tebow, Syracuse Mets card. And another one coming up, Owen Miller, and it's out of 99. So our hit is from the Sod Poodles. So Sod Poodles, I'm not sure who they're from. Usually you can get a hint on the back. Um, if I had to guess, I would, I don't want to make a guess because it'll probably be wrong. I guess Padres, looks like Padres, number 23 in the Padres organization. So that would go, if it's the Padres, to Linda W. Congratulations, Linda W. On... Your hit there out of 99, Owen Miller. I guess I should have known that. We've seen enough Owen Miller out of Bowman Crumb. This is still break A. This is the third of six boxes. These cards are good for TTM. I'd probably wait until next year to send them out, though, maybe in spring training. 
since all the players, you know, the minor league seasons are done now. What the heck's the sod poodle? I have no idea, Sully's. But yeah, these are nice because these players probably don't get a ton of mail, so that you're more likely to possibly get the card back signed, whereas if you sign it to a big star in the majors, they might not even reply, or if they do reply, it might just be kind of like a stamped um, signature or stamped note. And all about the hobby with a $10 super chat says, if anyone hits a Tebow auto, I'll buy it. All about the hobby. Thank you very much for that nice $10 super chat. And serious cards... And Jonathan H., all with Super Chats coming in here. Let's check these out. Series Card says, Think, uh, thinking about calling off work tomorrow. It's a special day. I get my Jabs Family Patreon package in the mail. Serious Cards, thank you very much. Looks like uh, you've checked the tracking number and it's, it's due tomorrow, I guess. That's awesome for you. And I hope you get some good stuff there. And if you do call off work, I hope you have a great day. Off of work, an Autistic Family Collectible says, official nomination for Eric as the new manager of the Cubs. He's great with stats. Could do fielding exercises with wiffle balls and coach autos. Autistic Family Collectibles, thank you very much. I would love to be the manager of a big league club. That would be awesome. I doubt that will ever happen. Maybe if, um, I don't know, every single former major league player just um, vanishes, they might make me a manager. Domingo Acevedo is the next one. If I'm not mistaken, that's the Yankees. Um, the Trenton Thunder is the Yankees. And if it is the Yankees, it's Camille S. So Domingo Acevedo is our hit right there. Trenton Thunder, I believe, is the AA affiliate. It's a Luis Garcia. AA affiliate of the Yankees, if I'm not mistaken. I don't ever watch minor league baseball, so tried to um, rely on what little knowledge of minor league baseball that I do have. All right, here's our final stack, and then we also have... So does that once go to the Braves or Tigers? It's exams? Well, it says the team name on the front, and basically um, the team name determines it. Herbie and Euclides would vouch for me, says DC Fan Chris. I think they might be gone now, DC Fan Chris. It was announced that the new coach or new manager... Whoever it will be gets to pick their own staff. So that likely means Euclides is gone. Herbie's already survived a couple managers since he's the bullpen catcher. So I'm not sure. I hope they both survive. But I would say it's pretty likely Euclides is likely going to be replaced along with most of the staff. Ray Searage, the Pirates pitching coach, definitely will be gone. All right. We already got our two hits, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just... Going through the string here and showing you guys there's Austin Riley finishing off the box. Tristan Casas, Casas from the Red Sox. Robert is in there. Lloyd, how's it going? There's um, Jordan Yamamoto, Jumbo Shrimp from the Marlins. He's made an impact this year. That's it for that box. On to box number four. Google minor league affiliates. It lists all minor league teams from AAA to Rookie League. Okay, I'll have to do that. I noticed that last year, by the way, we've got two Super Baseballs to do. Last year, I did the same thing, and um, there's a couple minor league affiliates that had switched. Jonathan India from the Reds. And, no, this is not hobby, or this is not retail. It's only hobby. Like, for example, I think I got, like, a... Tatis last year out of this was um, his whatever the affiliate was had since switched over to the Brewers. I was like, wait a minute, Tatis is not affiliated with the Brewers. So there's always a couple teams that change. You got to be careful. So, all right. So, box number four, 1971 is next year. That should be pretty fun. We've got a nice string coming up. We got 71 next year. 71, 72, 73. Those are all pretty nice designs. I like those designs. 74 is average. 75 is pretty nice. I don't mind 76 either. So we got some nice designs in front of us. It'll be really cool in like, uh, I don't know what, like 15 years. I guess we'll stop right there. We start having the junk wax as our designs. There's Tim Tebow. And now we have a, a Mitchell White, and it is numbered out of 99 on the back. Still break A. This is box number four from break A. These batting leader cards, those are always kind of tricky to sort out, too, because they're all on different teams. So what I usually do is I hopefully get three of them, 
and then everyone gets one. And uh, if that doesn't happen, then if we get two, then the first and second place in whatever category get those ones. Andres Jimenez from the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. I believe that's the Mets. If it is indeed the Mets, that goes to Robert LM. Congratulations, Robert. I'm pretty sure the Rumble Ponies are the Mets, if I'm not mistaken. There's Sherwin Moneybags Newton. Saw him a lot in Chrome. So we're basically prospecting here for Kenzie Gore, Adele. You'll probably see them soon in the big leagues. Julio Rodriguez, Kirillov from the Twins, DJ Peters, Seth Beer. He's on the Woodpeckers there, which I think is the Astros. So that'll go to the Astros owner. That's just the way it works, whatever team uni they're in. All right, looking for our autograph. Let's see if we can find Mr. Wander. 357 says Rumble Ponies, double A for the Mets. DC Fan says you never know who's going to be the next Soto. That's for sure. Are these actual rookie cards? No, they don't qualify as rookie cards per hobby rules. But they're great for sending through the mail. Like Wander Franco right there. Another Wander Franco. It's the uh, Sporting News. And we have Eric with a super chat. It says, I say it, but it's coming this week. 50 sub giveaway. Eric, thank you very much. Make sure you check out Eric's channel, everybody. Give him some support and check out the 50 sub giveaway. And we have one upside down. That's going to be a Vidal Bruyon from the Stone Crabs. And it should be numbered. And it is not numbered. Why was that upside down? Maybe it's a short print or photo variation. There's Toro from the Astros. Probably a photo variation of some sort if it was upside down. Otherwise, that makes no sense. Dustin May from the Dodgers. You'll probably see him in the playoffs. And there's our hit, Lucan Baker. From the Chiefs, is he Cardinals? Let me see if I can figure it out. I believe he's the Cardinals, um, one of the Cardinals' prospects. Cardinals have a lot of hits in this, it seems like. Um, Cardinals farmhand, so there you have it. That's for John A. Congratulations, John, on your Luke and Baker hit. I can't believe you're on as in 2020 tops. Did they skip him over for update? Is the update checklist out yet? I've been meaning to look at that since update comes out in two weeks. I was wondering if they have the uh, at least the base checklist up so I can start trying to plan out my break for that. Bakers with the cards went to TCU, says Austin. Gotcha. Yeah, update comes out like mid-October. I want to say October 19th, maybe? Is it 11th or 19th? It's always a Wednesday. I will right, we'll finish off the uh, string here. We already got our autograph and our relic. Keston Hira is in there. Sean Jelly's seen him a, a lot. October 16th, so I have all my dates screwed up. October 16th. Looking forward to that. That's going to be a big one. That's a big one for sure. I'm going to try to get as many jumbo cases as I possibly can. I pref Personally, I prefer jumbo over hobby for tops. I don't know about you guys. I just feel like um, you get more autographs when it's all said and done per case because you're guaranteed six autographs. Overall, you're guaranteed, what is it? There's 10 boxes, so 30 total hits. No, wait. No, there's six boxes, so you're guaranteed 18 total hits. And it's six autographs, six relics, and six manufactured. And um, I don't know, it just seems like with... Hobby, you're lucky to get if you if you get six autos in a hobby case, you're pretty lucky. All right, so here we go. Next box. This is box number five of six. Mr. K is looking for those nickel relics from 1970. Always interesting. At least you know your card is worth at least five cents. Would have been cool if they would have put maybe um i don't know like a silver dollar or something from 1970 in there like throw us a bone here tops give us something those nickels 1970 nickels are kind of a dime a dozen or 60 cents a dozen all right looking for our hit there is a out of 99 it's a jacob or jb 
Buskaskis from the Hooks. And Dustin Megan, Taylor Trammell. And there's the hit. It's from the Hops. Jake McCarthy from the Hops. That would be, try to figure this out, Diamondbacks, it looks like. So Diamondbacks are having a nice round. That one goes out to D-backs owner Mark J. Congratulations, Mark A. Mark J on that one from the Hops. Jake McCarthy, if you want to baseball reference him and see how he's done the past year. Yep, this is still break A, Jason. So we have one more box left, and then we'll be on to break B. Dave Evans says, I hear they added more hops to the recipe. Must be a, a cooking aficionado there. Welcome to my world with a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Welcome to my world. Make sure you guys check. take a second and check out Welcome to My World. This one is numbered out of 99. It's a Brock Burke from the Rough Riders. Brock Burke. Pretty cool blue borders. And TJCC just picked up a box of Heritage earlier. That's pretty awesome. And there's our hit. It's not a coin. It is a piece of memorabilia, game use memorabilia. Andres Jimenez from the Mets. Binghamton Rumble Ponies. That's another Mets farmhand. And that one goes out to the Mets owner, Robert LM. So congratulations, Robert, on yet another hit. Good job. And um, did we get our auto? Yeah, we already got our auto, Jake McCarthy. So the rest of this box is going to be base. So once we have a bunch of base, we'll just scroll on through it. Look for the numbered cards to show off to you. Double A says Mr. K. Last stack. How about Pete Alonso the other night breaking the home run record? Crying out there on the field as he took first base. I'm not going to lie. As soon as he broke the home run record, I hopped on eBay and bought a case of 2019 Top Series 2. Just, just to put away for a rainy day. Watch. Hopefully Pete Alonso doesn't totally fade out. Dave Durango with a $2 Super Chat says, 79 from 1,000. Very excited. Thank you for all the help. Dave Durango, thank you very much. It actually was an eBay. I know I think about it. I was going to buy it on eBay, but I saw it was Steel City Collectibles. So I just went on their website and bought it because it was like $80 cheaper on their website than the eBay prices. Because eBay, anytime you sell anything on eBay, you got to cover their ridiculous fees. Sub to Dave Durango, everyone, says Dave M., Thank you very much for that super chat. Really appreciate that. Alonzo should thank those juiced baseballs. Definitely the baseballs are juiced this year, as I believe four teams broke the single-season home run record for a team total. I think it was set last year, but I want to say the Yankees, and I believe four teams have surpassed. I think it was 287 last year. And already, four teams have just blown on by that number. All right, last box for break A. What are we looking for? We're looking for autographs, relics, and basically prospects of your favorite team. These are all prospects, so Wander Franco is obviously a really big one right now, but, you know, looking for some other nice ones like autographs from Casey Mize and so on and so forth. You can see the whole checklist on CardboardConnection.com. Just type in Cardboard Connection. And Heritage Miners from 2019. Or you can just go in the description and look. And I have an eBay listing there. with There's a handful of teams still left. And I always put the uh, whole checklist on any listing for a break. So you can go through and see which team you're thinking about. Maybe do a control F and type in the team name and see how many times they appear on the checklist. That's always a good idea. Instead of reading through the checklist for a long time, just control F it. Have them highlight all of your team names that you're looking for. The thing about this one, though, a little tough because they only use the minor league team names. They don't put the major league teams on there, which is a little bit annoying. We got Ronaldo Hernandez, and I believe he is a Rays catcher. Rays catcher. And that one would go out to Jared R. Jared, congratulations on this out of 99. It's a 1970 nickel. 
19, you thought you saw an autograph? I don't think, the, if you saw the congratulations thing, that was just um, basically saying, congratulations, you can type in this code and have a 0.001% chance of being a minor leaguer. And Series Cards with a $5 Super Chat says, another another channel is going to hit 1,000 during Jabs Live. Do you like cards, guitars, and other cool stuff? Then you need to sign up for some Dave Durango. Series Cards, thank you very much. Make sure you guys check out Dave Durango's channel there. He might be the next channel to hit 1,000. Where's Dave at right now? I know he was gunning for 900 by October. Lone Star, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I think Lone Star is doing a break of Chrome. 921. So, Dave, we have seen people. I think the record during a live stream was 150 during one of my live streams. We got Donnie Baseball there. JC Donnie Baseball picked up 150 once he got there. So, hopefully, we can get you there tonight. We'll try. John Crow says, Your boxes look like our case last night. Same autos, beer or Nico from the Cubs. Nico Horner was your best autos. The mystery card upside down is a paper variation, two per case. So, John, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. It's kind of what we figure there. Photo variation um, might have a little bit of extra value to it. Make sure you check out John Crow's channel and see if he uh, posted his box break on there. Thank you very much, John. And 513 break says, blessed to be in this community four away from 100. So 513, let's uh, check out 513. Give them some subs. Here's a two-way player, Brendan McKay. Although I don't know if they're letting him hit as much anymore. There was an article on the Pirates website today that they're thinking about making Stephen Brault a two-way player, just like Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen got the start in center field for the um, Reds the other day. Here is a Ian, Ian Anderson from the Braves. Usually our autograph is in this stack, so I don't know what's going on here, Tops. Switching up a little bit on us. McKay's in 2020, Tops. Yep, he should be. He was up this year. There it is, Garrett Whitlock from the Tarp. Tarpon, tarpons, tarpons. Um, I think that's the Yankees, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Yankees, Garrett Whitlock. So New York Yankees, another hit for Camille S. Congratulations, Camille. And those are both of our hits. And we'll just finish off the stack, and then we'll do the two supers. New York Yankees with their second hit. TJCC says, new video every other day. Update week coming soon. TJCC, thank you very much. Make sure you guys check out TJCC. Update. You talk about 2019 Tops Update? That's coming up very soon. That's going to be fun. October actually is a pretty good month for baseball cards. Lots of stuff coming out. Some very cool releases. Uh, I think on Wednesday we have Panini Contenders Draft Picks that comes out. I think I had I ordered... I have to go back and check because I ordered this stuff like far in advance just to make sure that they don't run out and I don't, I don't get stuck just, you know, without anything. But I think I ordered one case of that. And then there's also retired player edition coming up on Wednesday. That's where you get old baseball cards that you might have grown up collecting from the, uh, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And they're signed by players. And they're encased and numbered. It's a really, really fun release. Can't wait for that. Here is a Julio Pablo Martinez from the Rangers, if I'm not mistaken. And our second card is a Joey Bart from the Giants. Again, those aren't autographs. They just look like it. Those are facsimile autos. Still pretty cool. So that rounds off break A. Concludes break A. Here's the hits again, just really quickly. I'll go through them. The ones from the preview video are still downstairs. I forgot to bring those up. I missed a one of one, really? Anyone else see that besides Matthews? I don't, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary for a one of one. I'm not seeing what you're talking about. The Nichols Odd Tops missed the mark with it. It's Was it the black one? I think black's out of 50. Are you talking about this one? This one is out of 50. Black is out of 50, not out of one. All right, so let me put these in their case, and then we'll get on to round number 
two, which is also known as break B. Just give me one minute to clean these up. All right, break B, we got different folks in here. Here's the list of the folks in break B. I believe this one's sold out as well, so we'll call it the hits as we go along. How can I get on the list, please? I think I just saw, I, there's a link in the description. The list is already printed out, so the only way your name will get called out is if um, you get a hit which has happened before. There's a few spots left. I updated the list at, I think, 6.55 p.m. before coming on live, trying to get as many people on there that were buying in as possible. And a couple super chats. Steven's card says, submarine me, and I'll submarine you back. <laughs> love you, Jabs, or love the channel, Jabs. Thank you very much. Steven, make sure you submarine them. Um, some channels have had a hard time with the S-U-B word getting flagged for spam. So thank you very much, Stevens, for being mindful of that. And 357 MAGA says, Tampa Bay at Oakland and Milwaukee at Washington. What's your predictions for the wild card? I'm going to take Tampa Bay and I'm going to take Washington. Those are my two picks. What are your picks, 357? Make sure you guys check out 357. I still don't know who's starting either game, but I think... Um, Whoever the Nationals throw, Strasburg or Scherzer, they're going to have a clear advantage over Milwaukee. And then um, I don't know who's starting the wild card game for the Rays. Maybe Charlie Morton. Um, I'm personally rooting for the Rays because of no offense to you A's fans. It's just they have some of my, a couple of my favorite players on that team. I love Charlie Morton and I love Austin Meadows, and I'm rooting for those guys a lot. So And Tyler Glass now as well. So would love to see those guys do well. And this one is Alec Bohm for the Phillies out of 99. The A's, you like their bullpen with A.J. Puck and Lazardo. Yeah, you never know. It's only one game. Here's the hit. It's from the Osprey, Alec Thomas. And that one is... For another Diamondbacks hit. So Diamondbacks were just killing it. That one's for Brian S. Congratulations, Brian S. on your Alec Thomas. Now it's time to find the relic, the offspring, or the offspray. Are you am I mad about Jordan Alvarez not in Topps update? Pretty disappointed. I wonder if Topps did that on purpose to kind of um they I don't know. This is a conspiracy theory, maybe. That possibly they know there's already going to be a ton of demand for update with Vladdy and Alonso and everything. So I wonder if they held him back for Series 1 just to, uh, you know, have a nice Chase rookie in there that will make everyone go out and buy Series 1 next year. Because I feel like every year Series 1 is the most underwhelming set of all three releases, Series 1, Series 2, and Tops Update, Series 1's always the worst. So I wonder if they held them back just to beef that up a little bit. Sandro Fabian out of 50. Looks like a Giants player based off of the uniform style. Looking for a Relic now. Dragon Fan Tim, thank you very much. That'll make sorting a lot easier. Joe Adele out of 99 for the Angels. That one goes to Linda W. Joe Adele's going to be a future star. Um, everyone's predicting that one, so look out for him within the next year or two. And those are both of the hits from this box. We'll just finish it off looking for our numbered cards. Kirillov was in there. There's a congratulations card. That Again, that's just a shot at being a minor league player. There's only two people out of all the packs they put out that are going to win, so odds of winning that are like one in probably a million, like literally. Finish off this stack, then we'll rip the next box and do the super baseball ones. All right, let's see what we've got here. Shervin Newton, I saw again. Joe Adele. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, Jim Carrey, yeah. That's a great movie, Dumb and Dumber. You never know. 
Christian Pache. I'm not sure what video I want to do tomorrow, by the way. I saw somebody ask about it. Possibly might do National Treasures from Panini. I just put that on sale about an hour ago, and it's already almost sold out. It's going pretty quick. Selling it by the card. So we might do that one tomorrow if it sells out. Matthews Coin says, 2020 Series 1 will be good with Alvarez, Bichette, Gavin Lux, AJ, Aquino. Yeah, that's, it should be kind of interesting. But if you look in years past, like Series 1's always been the weakest. 69% sold, says 357 MAGA. If it does sell out tonight, I don't know if I should... I did get offered a second case, or a third case, actually. I already have two of them. From another break, I could go and pick that up. Do you predict... Um, What's Alex saying? Do you predict the wood of an open box and of this going up over time a good investment? I have seen a lot of boxes go up over time. Most recently, 2018 update, which you could buy in the clearance shelves of Walmart just a few months ago. Now is like triple what it used to be. All you need is some big hit in there, like a Acuna Jr. rookie card to take off. So I don't know. I'm... I'm really looking at um, 2019 Top Series 2 as the next possible one that could go up, but I'm not sure about that. I, I mean, you got Pete Alonso, Tatis, and Vladdy Jr. all in there. Michael King out of uh, 99 from the Rail, Rail Riders. So I don't know. I, I could see Series 2 maybe doubling in value over a couple years. Owen Miller... Another Owen Miller. And what team do we say he was on? Was it the Padres? I believe it was the Padres. Yep, and that one goes to Brian Z. Congratulations, Brian Z, on your hit. Now it's time to find the Relic. So, yeah, I was thinking Top Series 2 might go up. So, I don't know. If you go out to Walmart and see a Series 2 box sitting there, maybe grab it and just uh, put it in your closet for a while and... I think you'll, you'll at least double your money after a couple years, maybe. It's like buying a stock. I know a lot of us probably regret not buying a bunch of 2011 Tops Update about eight years ago when we had the opportunity. All right, let's see what we've got. Probably a relic. So far, like the first stack has always had a hit. Second stack has always had a hit. The third stack seems to never have a hit. And there it is. Clubhouse Collection, and it's Christian Pache from the Braves. That is a nice one for Thad M. Congratulations, Thad. That is a very, very nice one. Game used. And Indy Dave says, 19 Series 2 is already sold out at Walmart here, and Hobby Boxes are at a premium. Yeah, ever since Pete Alonso broke that record, those Series 2, I think, are going to start to go up in value. I'm not going to say, I don't know. Maybe next year at this time they might be double what they used to be. I don't know. But I'll tell you that I did buy a case of those from Steel City last night. I bought a case of hanger boxes. I think it was six hundred twenty-five dollars for I had roughly six. I think sixty-four boxes in there. There's you know those hanger boxes that have like sixty-seven cards in them. I felt like that was a pretty good buy because um, in blaster boxes you get what like ninety-nine cards for twenty bucks. Hanger boxes you get. 67 cards for 10 bucks so it's actually less per card all right let's do this last stack no autographs coming out of this one obviously but we'll still do it let's see if there's any numbered cards coming our way ken f says the way homers are being hit alonso's record will fall within five years yeah you never know McGuire's record stood for, what, 30 years or so around there until Judge came along. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a tough record to break, though, if you think about it, because so many teams nowadays don't let the players come up until, like, at least, I don't know, halfway through April at the earliest because they're kind of uh, service timing them. So maybe if they ever kind of change that in the CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement, kind of get rid of that service time manipulation it could happen all right two 
boxes down. Box number three. Oh, look, what it, look who it is. One of these guys from HTA, still hanging around. Wanted some more camera time. Alex, that's a nice pull. We got it. I guess we'll do all these supers at the end. We got three of them right now. We'll do the supers at the end of this break B of this round. All right, let's open all these up. DJ says, I don't have one single Alonso rookie card. You got to start um, getting a couple before they go up too high. Alonso did break camp with the Mets, actually. It's kind of like big news. Like, holy crap, they're actually letting him go? Heritage high number will surge in price. That's for sure. That's a good one as well. Heritage high number has all those good rookies in there. And it's, it's, kind of, um, it's kind of a good buy because, like, even if Alonso doesn't hit, you still got Tatis in there, and you still got Vladdy. So at least one of those guys is should be a hit in the big leagues. Machiavelli, how's it going? Nick Madrigal from the White Sox, 1970 nickel. The nickel is back. Nick Madrigal, White Sox farmhand there. That goes out to Michael S. Congratulations, Michael S., on your Madrigal. And now let's find our auto from this box. See, who's it going to be? Not in that one. Hey, Zeus left the Mets game watching on the train. That's pretty cool. That's right, Ohio. It's worth at least five cents, that's for sure. Don Smith, a late home run to win. Well, congratulations. Missouri Cards loves Heritage Miners. That's awesome. Why the nickel? It's because it's the 1970 design, so they put 1970 nickels in. Really has nothing to do with the player whatsoever. I could see how some of you might think that maybe had like um, the player's birth year, so I don't know if they would do that. Have some like 1994 coins in here. A lot of these guys are pretty young. Might actually, probably like 1998, 1999, all these guys. Like Gavin Lux, born 97. Dang, that makes me feel old. And there's probably some guys that were born a lot later than Gavin Lux. Ryan Weathers, born 99. Just two weeks away from 2000 there. A lot of youngins in here. 99? I graduated in 99. I was in college when he was born. All right, saves leaders out of 99, 11 of 99. Joseph, that's okay. I know stuff comes up. You can't be here for every break. Oh, there we go. Sayoli Matias from the Royals. That is a good one. Bazooka autographs out of 50. Sayoli Mat Matias, I know he's a uh, highly touted Royals prospect. That one goes out to our Royals owner, Tim May. Congratulations, Tim. Nice bazooka auto there. That's a special autograph subset. There's what the back looks like, if you're wondering. That's a good one. Like that one a lot. Now let's finish off this stack, this box. Is Linda W in this break? Yeah, she's got the Angels. She just had a Joe Adele hit. She only has the Angels this round. And had the Joe Adele game use relic. All right, let's go through these and see if there's any numbered cards. Already got both of our hits, so don't have to worry about the autograph. There's Brock Deathridge looking super angry. Just kidding. Brock Deathridge. Tim Tebow from the Syracuse Mets. His career is basically reaching the uh, do or die point next year. I'm getting a little bit old. Mickey Callaway get fired yet? Not that I know of. I'm sure the Mets fans will know all about that. All right, next box. Box number four of six for Heritage Miners. We'll do the Super Baseball last. Take the GM with them, Brody Van Wagenen. Yeah, the Mets, um, kind of a roller coaster of a season. Up and down, got hot for a little while. Yeah, Cunha is not going to get 40 40. He missed the last week of the season with that strained hip slash groin. So, 
2008 update for a TBT? Possibly. Yeah, that one stretch that the Mets had around July or so. Might have saved Callaway's job. I don't know. David Ross would be a good hire. David Ross, good, good clubhouse guy. A lot of those guys love David Ross. A lot of those guys played with him. 2016 Cubs on their way to winning the World Series. And uh, Joe Madden gave a lot of credit to David Ross as being the glue in that clubhouse. Tristan Casas from the Red Sox, numbered out of 50. And are we going to have an auto in this one? Yep, Jake McCarthy again. Our second Jake McCarthy from the Hops. Again, that's a Diamondbacks hit going to D-backs owner Brian S. Jake McCarthy on his way to becoming the next Ryan O'Hearn. And 618 Sports Card says, Great day in the 618 household. Cardinals take the Central, and the Bears did their thing. Great break as always, Eric. 618, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I watched a bit. I watched the last like inning of the Cardinals game just to see them clinch. Um, they weren't like super excited. I mean, they were happy, but they weren't like going crazy. There's still more business to be done for the Cardinals. I mostly just tuned in because I want to see Ben Zobris pitch. Ben Zobris, his last, possibly his last ever appearance in the big leagues. He might be done on the mound, and he did pretty well. Had a strikeout and didn't give up any hits in one innings pitch. Hey, Pat Borders, former catcher for the Blue Jays is here. Pat Borders, what's up? All right, let's see. We should have a relic in this stack. Floreal. Girardi will definitely manage again. He's going to have his pick of where he wants to go, that's for sure. Machiavelli wants me to get a 93 SP. That would be awesome. And it's a Melvin Adon from the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Um, who do they belong to? Richmond Flying? Is it the Giants? I can't remember who this who the Flying Squirrels are. Literally no idea. So I'm gonna have to wait for Dragon Fan Tim to have the official call on that one. Richmond Flying Squirrels. Matthews. Okay, the Giants. Okay, glad to know that. I wasn't sure. I was like 80% sure. Thank you very much, guys, for helping out with the call. So we got our two hits. Now it's time to finish off the stack there. Martin Prado said goodbye in Philly today. Nice round of applause for him from the Phillies fans. Martin Prado. Yep, he's still playing. A lot of people forget about him. Kind of has gone a little bit under the, the radar. Pedro Martinez for manager. I'd be down for that. Pedro's a great guy. Uncle Naki likes the minor league cards. Make sure you guys check out Uncle Naki. He is the guy for your 1909 cards and your tobacco cards. The guy. Like he knows everything about them. FDC. What's up, man? And there's a Connor Pilkington from the White Sox. It is going to be numbered out of 15. Very nice. Low print run there out of 15. Parental control on MTV. Not really. I grew up without cable. So um, the only cable... I had cable when I went to college, but I didn't really watch it too much. So I, I don't think I ever watched that show. Next box... Box number five of six. Do all the supers at the end. Is Fernando Rodney the last player left that's born in the 70s? He might be. Yeah, Fernando Rodney, oldest player in the big leagues this season. Who will the Pirates hire, says Lewis. Yep, Clint Hurdle was fired today, Pirates manager. They'll probably just hire someone. Like, if they do a Pirates move, they'll just promote someone from within. They'll maybe make Tom Prince manager or Jeff Bannister manager. One of those kind of moves. I'd like to see them go out and get um, a well-respected former player. Like, how about bringing in, I don't know. I know that Carlos Beltran wants to manage. He would get a lot of respect. We'll have to see. A lot of people are calling for Joe Madden to come on over to the Buccos. I don't know if he'd want to do that, though, because the Pirates are basically a, a train wreck. It looks like they're going to be a last-place team again next year. Jesus Sanchez from the Montgomery Biscuits. No idea who the Biscuits belong to. If I had to guess, I would say the Braves, but that's a total guess. 
So we'll wait for Dragon Fan Tim with the call on that one. Montgomery Biscuits. What a name for a minor league team. And looking for the Rays. Okay, Trung's got it. Trung with the W. Thank you very much, Trung. Trung? That means Andrew D's got it. Andrew, congratulations. If it is indeed the Rays, you've got that hit. Game used, Jesus Sanchez. Autographs should be coming to this one. That third stack has been completely cold the entire break so far. Still break B. Yes, Dave. We got this box and one more, so about 1.5 left. Tim Tebow leads things off. Autographs should be coming up. And I always got to have a keen eye for these because they kind of sneak up on you. This is Joey Bart, Royce Lewis. This is going to be a photo. No, not a photo variation. Numbered Jose Suarez from the Bees. I just found, a, I was working on my pool today and I found another B access point. Luke and Baker from the Cardinals. Jason T. Hey, that's true seeker. I told you there's a lot of Cardinals in this break. That's I think our, at least our second Cardinals that we pulled. Luke and Baker. Cardinals first base prospect for true seekers. Congratulations on that one, Jason. And that's going to do it for the hits. Machiavelli, I don't really ever see too many pre-war cards in the flea markets. You're better off, um, I don't know, probably just buying them online. But I know that a lot of people don't like to buy online because they could be altered or whatever. You'd much rather hold the card in person. Maybe try to go to some big card shows. There's a, there's a Chantilly show coming up in about two weeks down in Washington, D.C. That's not too far from PA. For us, it's about a three, three and a half hour drive. We might be able to find a dealer down there with some pre-war cards. But you got to be careful with those older cards and make sure they haven't been touched up. eBay is out of control on prices. Especially, I get anything in good shape. Everyone bids it way high because they're just going to buy it to get graded. So, ungraded cards almost go for what a graded card would go for, minus, you know, a small percentage that it would take to get it graded. It's kind of annoying. All right, one more box. And yeah, the fees are awful. Hate the fees. Some people call it fee bay instead of eBay because there's so many fees. <laughs> Lewis liked that I picked up the 50s Bowmans even though they were covered in tape. Yeah, I figured what the heck. I didn't have any 1950s Bowman, so I mean, they're only like two bucks a piece. I try to pick up the names that I recognized. 13% fees. That's right, Roan Bear. You got a 9% or so, 9-10% to eBay fee and a 2.9% PayPal fee. It's pretty crappy. One of these days, I have to make my own website to sell the brakes on so I can avoid the eBay fees. Once I've, I don't know, I might have to go take a class or something on web design. It'll community college or something. All right, so this is the last box for the folks in B. Two hits per box. Let's see if we get... The first stack has always had a hit in it. I'm thinking it's going to be an auto. Kind of like goes back and forth. Auto in the first stack, then Relic in the next one. There's Casey Golden from the Jethawks. That's out of 50. Any second now, I think it's an auto. an auto should be coming up. And I am completely right. Grayson Jenna stuff from the Fire Frogs. I believe that's the Braves organization. Atlanta Braves. Yep, Braves organization. That one goes out to the Braves owner, Thad. So, Thad, congratulations. I think that's your second hit of the break. Patrick, first one on the call in the chat that I'm seeing. Tim says you'd be able to find the resources to build a site on the internet. Wouldn't waste your time in a college. Yeah, you're probably right about that. I just want to make sure everything was perfect without any bugs. Yeah, 
Andrew says, hey, I was just playing outside and it's getting dark, so I decided to come in. That's probably a good idea. Glad that you're here. Patrick says, M-I-L-B, MILB, that's minor league baseball, is your specialty. That's awesome. So we'll we'll rely on you heavily for some of these calls. What do we got here? Nick Gordon from the Rochester Red Wings. I have no idea who Nick Gordon belongs to. Rochester Red Wings. Not exactly sure. Dante, how's it going? Twin says Dave M. That sounds right. I think Royce Lewis, I've seen him on the Rochester Red Wings. So that, that's for Brad B. Dave M. first on the call. Congratulations, Dave. Everybody else coming in a close second. So we got both of our hits. Now we'll just finish off this round with this last stack. Patrick actually met Royce Lewis. That's pretty cool. Joshua, don't even don't even remind me. This is going to be an absolute pain to sort. 200 cards. So basically what I'll do when I sort them out is I'll have um, 20 different stacks by 10. So that's how I'll sort them. Machiavelli, I still have the Cy Young card. It's sitting right off camera to the left of me. I want to send it in and get graded one of these days. It's a very, very nice card sent by Mr. Jason T, who just had a Luke and Baker hit, so that's pretty awesome. Eric is not allowed to get rid of it. Yeah, that's going to stay in the PC and get passed on down to my son. Son or daughter, whichever one appreciates baseball the most. None of them like baseball whatsoever. It really just breaks my heart trying to get Olivia to play softball and she's just, just like I don't like softball she's like I'm not you dad I don't like baseball I was like what the heck happened to you she's all obsessed with soccer so I'm hoping that it's just a phase since all her friends play soccer no one none of her friends play baseball and they like make fun of baseball so now she doesn't like it it's really really annoying all about soccer all right here's the super Hebert Ruiz from the Dodgers. Not an autograph. None of these are autos. Next up, we have Joey Bart again. What days of the week do you do your breaks? Usually on Wednesdays, but if there's more than one release, sometimes it gets switched up. Next, we have Nick Madrigal. And I, I'll post those. I always post them on my Patreon page, usually. Another Joey Bart. We have National Treasures. I could... I can see doing National Treasures like Tuesday if it sells out. Nolan Gorman, Cardinals, and the last one. Julio Pablo Martinez, Rangers, for the super cards. Good old super. So the hits in that round for break B. I don't think they are autos at all. They're just facsimile autos. That was Sally Matias was a nice one. What products are we doing next? That's a great question there, Andrew. We've got National Treasures, which is um, it's now on sale on my Patreon page. There's only a few spots left. It actually sold a lot faster than I thought. This is A, B. Sorry, I'm just labeling my labeling, labeling my case here. Don't want to get these mixed up. All right, next up we have C. We also have Panini Contenders comes out this week and Heritage retired or not heritage archives retired player edition signature series comes out break c sold out break here's all the folks in break c we'll call them out we had trevor larnock in the um uh preview video autograph that's okay all right next round six boxes let's get it underway break c 2020 series one drops i want to say february 2nd like really early february First week in February. So until then, there's going to be a lull. Like after, I think the card season kind of winds down. There's some higher end stuff in like October, November. December, there's like Bowman's Best and Bowman Draft Pick, and that's pretty much it. So December, January are like really slow. So we might go back and do some like mixer breaks and stuff like that once a week. Maybe even do some throwback Thursday case breaks. Some people have asked for those. Instead of just doing like one box, do like a whole case of something so everybody can get a stack that wants one. Because a lot of the times those throwback Thursdays sell out in like 30 seconds. 
if we have a, a, a big supply, then everybody that wants to get in will be able to get in. You figure a 20 box case would have, what, 80 spots available? That'd be pretty fun. I would actually love to do that. There would be no sorting involved because it would be a by the stack. It would save a lot of time. So Lee Matias from the Royals. That one goes out to Tim May. Congratulations, Tim, on your Saley Matias game used. For a minute there, I thought that was some kind of printing on the side. Got thrown off. Joe Yankee says, throwback Thursday case breaks would be a dream come true. Would they be boring, though, for you guys, or would they be fun? Because after, like, two boxes, you'll have pretty much seen most of the cards. And there's no, like, you know, autos or anything that kind of keep you on your toes. I mean, there's the big chase cards that we'd be after. 20 boxes. That would probably be about a four-hour live stream to do a whole case of something. Jason Lewis says, who would you like to see the Pirates hire as manager? Great question, Jason Lewis. Um, Just off the top of my head, I'd say Herbie Andrade, the bullpen catcher, because I love that guy. But realistically, um, I think it's got to come from outside of the organization. And I'm hoping it's um, hoping it's a player that's from a winning team, like has a winning pedigree, maybe has won some World Series. Someone that the players will respect and look up to because Clint Hurdle had no respect left whatsoever at the end based off of what we heard about Keone Kelly Kella basically ripping Hurdle a new one in front of everybody. Totally blasting him, screaming in his face or whatever. Kyle Eastbell out of 50 for the Blue Rocks. And autograph? Yep. Almost hidden there on the blue sleeve. Blue on blue. Miguel Amaya from the Cubbies. That one goes out to... <laughs> Cubs owner Michael B. Paul says, do a 1988 Tops break and chase the Al Padrique Gold Cup card. That would be awful. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to make it the whole way through that one. I mean, how many Tom Glavins can you see before it's just like, okay, we get it. We've seen enough 88 Tops. If we did a case break, I'd like to do a case break of like something from like 85 or 84. Jeremy says the Pirates have to be embarrassed after what their former closer did, who I won't even say that loser's name anymore. Yeah, awful. Just disgusting. Just an awful, terrible year for the Pirates. I think this is the worst year they've ever had in my entire life. Like, Not in terms of wins and losses, because they've had more losses in a season, but just not a very likable team at all. Just, I don't know, just... I honestly, as a huge baseball fan, I stopped checking a lot of their box scores. I stopped caring, and that's pretty bad if you lose like your diehards like myself. I've been a season, full season ticket holder since 2007. It's a case break of 92 Leaf. That would be awful. 20, I think the Leaf boxes, I think those were 10, 10 box cases, if I'm not mistaken. So that wouldn't be so bad. Patrick, he's, his career is going to be done. He's going to be gone for probably in prison for 10 years plus. Because the psychopath like admitted to it in the affidavit. If you read through it, it's pretty disgusting. And 357 Maga says, Sid Bream, the new Pirates manager. Sid Bream. Sid Bream's a good guy. I like Sid Bream. And Greg Wyrock with a $30 super chat says, Keep up the great work. I love your channel. Greg, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Make sure you guys check out Greg's channel there. Give him some support. Really appreciate that, Greg. I don't think Greg's got a team in this one, but still, thanks for coming by and supporting us. Really appreciate that. Yeah, Paul, I agree. 89 Upper Deck would be a nice case break. That would be fun. Also, another one I, I would really enjoy doing is 89 Fleer and chasing the Billy Ripken FF card. And the, you know, there's a couple air cards in there as well, like Randy Johnson. Marlboro card would be pretty cool. There's another Tebow. Got to look out for these autos because the autos are sneaky, and I think one's coming up. There it is. Luke and Baker, another one for the Cardinals. This time, the Cardinals are owned by Nick M. Luke and Baker out of 99. So our third 
Luke and Baker quickly becoming the next Cedric Mullins with all the signatures. DC fan Chris says that the former Pirates closer is not going to do so well in the big house because prisoners, they don't take too kindly to folks like that. Yeah, he's going to probably have to have his own isolated cell. Dark says, if your, fan, if your kid stays in soccer, will you become a fan and start getting soccer cards? No, I don't see myself ever collecting soccer cards. But, I mean, I'll root for her, and I root for her teammates. Um, I kind of think that it's kind of a phase right now because her friends are all into soccer. I feel like it's a more of a social thing. But as long as she's having fun, that's all that matters. Estevan Florial from the Yankees Bat Relic for John A. That's a nice one. Florial, is it game used bat? Yeah, game used bat relic for John A. 10 million copies of the Griffey. I'll tell you what, I just picked up an 89 Upper Deck complete set at the antique store yesterday, speaking of 89 Upper Deck. And I had the lady open it up. And um, yeah, the Griffey was in there, so. And uh, Jeremy says 15 to 20 for that. For what the former Pirates closer did. That was a bat. It looks kind of like a base, but it's a piece of wood. Game used bat. All right, Dragon fan, no rush, man. I know that you're a busy guy. I'm a busy guy, so... Maybe once the whole card season winds down in mid-December, Christmas break comes around and... I don't know. I'm still tinkering with the idea of doing a 24-hour live stream sometime over Christmas break. It might be fun. Some people have kind of like are really wanting me to do it, so I don't know. What happened to the Pirates Closer? You just um, you, you can Google it. We're not going to talk about it. Heinous crimes committed. All right, next. I think I saw a super chat just popped up. Serious card says. You get the Ripken FF card, would you do it live? Yeah, I would do it live. I just, of course, I wouldn't say the word. And, um, you know, I'd probably have to, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I would go about showing that because I know there are some kids watching. I always try to be PG. I know some some guy, like, flipped out on me in my All About the Hobby breaks. I just made, a you know, an innocent comment. I was like, there's Javier Baez eating a bat for some reason. Just, you know, because he was like... And the guy like flipped out on me, like, how dare you say that? I have an eight-year-old son watching. I was like, what did I even say? Eating a bat? Because he, he literally was. It's at 650 in that all about the hobby video. Like, go and see if I meant anything heinous by it. But the guy called me a D-bag and I'm like, all right, dude. So yeah, I, I I definitely wouldn't say the word. I'd probably try to. I'm probably partially cover up the letters so you couldn't read the entire thing. All right, let's see here. Yep, I, I deleted their comment because they were like going nuts on me. I was like, all right. He said he's unsubscribing and never watching again, so. Didn't mean anything by it, man. Just literally just um, talking about the picture. What happened to the auction video? I took it down because it was so awful with too many show bids. And, um... Oh, Casey Mize. Very nice hit right there. Casey Mize for the Tigers. That one goes out to Timothy S. I think that's the best one so far. Casey Mize, number one pick there for the Tigers. You'll be seeing him very soon for that terrible Tigers team as they try to turn it around within the next couple years. He's going to be a big part of that. Very nice hit. And FDC Family Card says, Hey, Eric, my son is giving away his Acuna rookie card for our next 250 giveaway next weekend check out our video tomorrow and you can see how you win fdc thank you very much make sure you guys check out fdc family cards and try to get that acuna and father son card says just got back from the last game at globe life rangers win check out our channel father and son thank you very much i hope that you um definitely make a video about it joe yankee yeah i still have them all here i just have not sorted them out yet 
you'll get those within the next probably like week or so. I still have to finish off two tiers of Patreon stuff and then those will go out. I do ship so much stuff that it's humanly impossible to get everything out within, you know, a decent time frame that, you know, most normal people could do. I don't want to say I'm not normal, but it's uh, it's a lot of a lot of shipping that I do each day, a lot a lot a lot of shipping. Isaiah Gilliam, I used to have a student named that like ten years ago. Definitely not my student. Out of ninety nine. Right now I'm working on the last $66, $26 Patreon packages. They're all like all laid out like in rows. And I just have to now I just have to package them up. This is a Joey Bart 1970 game use. Joey Bart for the Giants. That's for Linda W. So that's one of the better 75 cent cards you can get. Am I ditching the idea of future live auctions? Um, yeah, I'm not going to do them anymore on my channel, but I will do them on Patreon and just do them private because the Patreon folks definitely, you know, those are good people and we don't have all the trolls coming in. Does my wife have a channel? She has a channel, but no videos. Last stack. Thank you, R. R. Murray, thank you very much. This is the last stack of box number three in break C. Let's see what we got coming up out of this one. Jordan Alvarez is pretty nice. My wife does not open up cards. She is not a big card fan. She would probably like it if she never had to see a card ever again because there's so many of them in the house. What subject do I teach? Spanish, high school Spanish. And no numbered cards in that stack really to talk about. This is break C. All right, this is box number four of six in break C. Heritage Minor League Edition. Nope, not into baseball really whatsoever. She likes playing it, but she doesn't really enjoy watching it at all. Pretty, She's pretty happy that I stopped going to games, though. That was like, um, she's like, it only took you like 10 years. What part of Pennsylvania? I'm from like um, southwestern Pennsylvania, I guess you could say. Southwestern, like southwestern slash central in there. I'm basically like a little over an hour east of Pittsburgh. I'm like right smack dab in the middle between like Bedford, PA and Pittsburgh, PA. All right, let's see. Tim Tebow. Hershey, PA. That's probably like three hours for me. I've been there a few times. Did you say you grew up near state college no i didn't grow up there my mom did and that's where a lot of our family is from there wander franco photo variation that's a nice one again that's upside down because that's a photo very oh yeah real far from reading real far that would be a hike probably like over four hours away autograph incoming there it is jake mccarthy again from the diamondbacks that's our third jake mccarthy and that one goes out to d-back center james m congratulations do a Christmas Eve 24-hour live stream and see Santa. I don't know if I'd want to do a 24-hour live stream on Christmas. Christmas Eve is kind of like our Christmas. A lot of times we open our Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, so that would kind of throw a wrench in things. Sorry, kids. Can't watch you open your Christmas presents because I'm live streaming. I don't think that would go over that well. BD says, appreciate your channel, baseball knowledge, and entertainment value. Keep up the great work, Jazz. BD, thank you very much for that donation. Really appreciate your support. Make sure you guys check out BD. Yeah, that Wander Franca will be sleeved for sure. Josh P, love your video. Please reply to my Patreon concerns. Josh, thank you very much. I'll look into it. If, you have, if you're on the 26th, I, your name sounds familiar. If you're on the 26th here, I shipped out your stuff while well, I printed your labels today. 
for a lot of the 26 ones. And then Bobby Dalbeck from the Portland Sea Dogs. Bobby Dalbeck, no idea exactly what team that goes to. Bobby Dalbeck will have to wait. Red Sox, okay. Red Sox it is. Patrick first on the call. Red Sox are owned by Sean H. Congratulations, Sean H. On your Bobby Dalbeck. Next stack should have the autograph. Well, no, we already got our autograph. It was the Jake McCarthy. Play out the string here of packs. Axe is amazing. Used to live in Hermitage. Yeah, I've been through there. There's a card store in there. It's literally just called the baseball card store or something like that, or the baseball card shop. My brother and I went there, I think back in January, I want to say. Nice little place. Gerard was very disappointed the Red Sox pitching. Yeah, not, not a whole lot to uh, be excited about on the Red Sox, except for maybe Bogarts and Martinez had nice season seasons. Nate says, mention me. All right, Nate, there you go. You're mentioned. And no numbered cards coming out of this particular string. Moving on to box number five of six. We'll do the super baseballs at the end of each round. Super baseball goes there. Mookie had a great run. It'd be interesting to see what they do with Mookie. They might end up trading him. I've heard those rumblings. Josh, I am very, very busy. It's it's awful. I could tell you that every day I think about, you know, stepping aside from teaching to keep up with all this stuff, but... You know, with YouTube, I see a lot of YouTubers that are doing well, and then they, you know, the algorithm stops favoring them. So whenever the algorithm shuts off your, your views, you're in trouble. So teachers deserve a lot more respect. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty thankless job. Royce Lewis from the Twins. Yeah, it's a really nice pension. That's part of the reason why I definitely want to keep it. Um, basically a, a teacher's pension. And there we go. Luke and Baker for the fourth time for the Cardinals. Nick M gets that one. Congratulations, Nick M. But basically, um, the teacher's pension in Pennsylvania is 87% of your average salary for your top three years, for your last three years of pay. So like, for example, let's just for crazy, just for, I don't know, crazy easy round numbers, say that you're making a hundred thousand dollars average when you retire well you'd get eighty-seven thousand for your pension every year until you die but that's if you go of course you have to go 35 years or whatever and there's no way i'm gonna make it 35 years i'll have to take some kind of large penalty and 75 percent massachusetts still pretty good i think massachusetts is are you guys the highest paid or is that connecticut highest paid teachers nico horner from the cubs Michael B. Congratulations, Michael B. You have 35 years. That's a, I'm a, that means I'm only halfway through my teaching career. And it's already seemed like a long time. 20 years and out for Connecticut Corrections. That's 20 and out. Not too bad. When I first started teaching, they had something called 30 and out, where you could go at 30 and still get full pension benefits and everything. Because I guess, I guess they figured out that they'd be able to save some money in the long run by doing that. Teaching plus age to 75 or more. I think there's like also a magic number here in Pennsylvania that you can retire at with full benefits. It's 92 is your magic. I think it's 92. It's your age plus years of service equals 92. You get your full, I, I think, benefit. I don't know. I don't really know much about it. I haven't gone to any of those retirement seminars to learn more about it. I still figure that I've got a long time to go. All right, so let's see what we've got coming up in this stack. There's a numbered card, Wander Franco out of 15. Very, very nice. 
Wander Franco All-Star card. Here's the back of it. You can see it is numbered out of 15, 5 of 15. Anytime you find a Wander Franco anything, it's a good day. So congratulations to our um, raise owner, Brian S., on the Wander. I'll put that in the hit pile, so I make sure I put that in the top loader. And so something good came out of the last stack for once. Usually the last stack is pretty cold. We've got one more box in break C to do. And then we'll do the Super Baseballs. The large box loader cards. There's that one for the break C, folks. The break Seers. Machiavelli says, serious question. Should we ask Bryce Harper for that money back? 13 more years of that. I mean... Bryce Harper, what was his average? Like slightly under 260. Have you ever pulled a Yelich sign card? Yep. Jeremy, you got it out of Topps. Um, one of the Topps Jumbos had a Yelich like manufactured patch that was signed out of 15. I forget if it was Series 2 or not. It might have been Series 2. 254. So he must have gone, what, 0 for 4 today? Because I think he was at 259 last night. He also had, what, 35 home runs, about 120 RBIs. Not too bad overall. That average should be a little bit higher. You'd like to see that up there around 300, 280 to 300. Just uh, a bad year for Philadelphia all around. Their offense didn't really click like a lot of people thought it was going to. Losing McCutcheon back in May was a huge loss. And we have a Gage Canning out of 99. Harper season was solid. He's just not a trout caliber player, says Chet. And here we go. Jared Kalenic from the Mariners out of 99. Kalenic, I think I might have said it wrong. Jared Kalenic from the Mariners. He was traded over from um, the Mets. He was a Mets top prospect traded over. I'm sure the Mets would like to uh, maybe redo that trade because Edwin Diaz was a complete disaster this year. Yep. Robinson Cano is on the uh, downward downward swing of his career. He's kind of fading. And Kellenick is going to be a good one, for sure. Number 14 overall prospect. So good move by the Mariners. Patreon Pirate, how's it going, man? All right, let's see what we got coming out of stack number two. Should be a relic? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. It's a Luis Robert from the White Sox. Game use memorabilia. Looks like he's in double A right now. Everyone remembers the Birmingham Barons from Michael Jordan's time there. White Sox run by Justin R. Congratulations. Justin R's got him in break C. And that's all the hits from this this break, it looks like, or this round. Kiebert Ruiz is going to be a good one. Looking for numbered cards now. Good question, Dave. That's a really good question. Cole or Verlander for Cy Young? I'm taking Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole got his 20th win of the year today. And it's a really close race. Like, razor thin. But I'm going with Garrett Cole. What do you have? Like, 326 strikeouts set the franchise record? Justin Verlander also struck out 300. I know Kate Upton is not going to be happy about it, but I got to take Cole. NCJ, you can you don't have to be a Patreon to do a Super Chat donation. Anybody can do it. You just have to click on that little dollar sign in the chat box where you type your text. And, um, you know, you can use your credit card or Google Play account. Basically, it's like buying an app. really appreciate you for considering donating to the channel. There has been co-MVPs when there's a tie. Look at 1979 with Willie Stargell and Keith Hernandez. All right, so that finishes off break C. We also have to do the super baseball ones first. Can't forget about the super baseball. Let's rip these bad boys open. Dual Cy Young. Unfortunately, it's very unlikely that's going to happen. We got Jared Kelenic right there from the Mariners. Chet says Kate Upton's nothing special. Then we have Luis Garcia from the Phils. 
David Lowe or Lau for the, oh, what is that? Dorum. I don't know. Rays, maybe? I think that's, is that Nate Lau and they're just put David on the back? Yeah, that's Nate Lau. That's definitely the Rays. Then we have Bryce Turing from the Brew Crew. Ronnie Mauricio from the Mets. And the last one is Seth Beer from the Astros. Now on the Diamondbacks, but he's in his Woodpeckers jersey there, which I believe is the Astros affiliate. So Seth Beer just traded over recently. Didn't have a chance to update his cards yet. And that's going to do it for break C. Just clean all these up. Move into break D. Hit recap once again. We got Robert, Kellenick, Franco, Horner, Baker, Dahlbeck, McCarthy, Joey Bartz, five cent, Casey Mize. So this is a pretty good round for hits. Florial, Lucan Baker, number at 99, Amaya, and Sayoli Matias are the hits in break C. So let me get break D up on the screen here. It's got to label the box here. These good old box loaders are also kind of a bane of my existence. These things stick up out of the box, and I want to go and shut the box, and I got like a couple inches of box toppers on sticking out, so I had to put those on their side. All right, so break D, let's just flip the box over. So here's all the folks in break D. Uh, we'll call it the hits as we go along. It's sold out. I think later rounds, we have a couple spots that were open. They might have already been picked up, though. So if we get a hit in the later rounds where there's a blank team, we'll research who you are and give you your proper due. Break D. So break D is the halfway point of this break. We're going through break H. Probably be done around 11 p.m.-ish. Willis says, who do you think won Rookie of the Year? I got Jordan Alvarez in the AL and Pete Alonso in the NL for sure. Thank you very much, Willis, for that. I think those might be unanimous Rookies of the Year, possibly. Pete Alonso should be unanimous for sure. And I think uh, Jordan Alvarez will definitely get a ton of votes, a ton of first-place votes as well. All right, let's see what we've got coming up. Gavin Lux, nice guy there. Saw um, Dave Roberts get ejected by arguing some Gavin Lux uh, strike calls that he didn't agree with. And Gavin Lux was like, eh, okay. Yeah, I guess that was really low, but I'm not going to say anything because I'm a nice guy. I don't know if you guys saw that, you Dodgers fans out there. Hey, Bryce Turang, and it's numbered out of 99. That's a brew crew hit right there. That's for Matthew G. Congratulations, Matthew on your Bryce Turang hit. Bryce Turang out of 99, fresh on the scene. Did I think Alonso would beat Judge's record? No, I thought he'd hit like, you know, 40 some homers. But I didn't think he was gonna get there, especially because like, I thought, oh, you know, he's, he just won the home run derby. Every year it seems like, you know, whoever's in the home run derby kind of slows down. He just did the opposite, he caught fire there. Never slowed down whatsoever. I'm glad he did it. Pete Alonso. Now I'm going out and buying up as many Top Series 2 boxes as I can. Anytime I go to Walmart and see a blaster box or hanger box of Series 2, I'm buying it. And I'm putting it in my closet. And I'm just going to wait a few years. And hopefully Pete Alonso keeps doing it. I know Austin Farmer, if he's here, always says that Pete Alonso is going to be like a 215 hitter next year. We'll have to see how he adjusts. This is out of 50 for Kyle Lewis. Arkansas Travelers. Kyle Lewis. Who do the Arkansas Travelers belong to? I don't know. You guys will have to let me know on that one. Arkansas Travelers. If I had to guess... Oh, the Mariners. I was not going to say them for sure. Ben first on the call. Thank you very much, Ben. Sung Han Lin, a close second. Aaron says MVP Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich won the batting title, if I'm not mistaken, by a very narrow margin. 
and um, Mike Trout. I have to agree with Trout, and you know what? I might also agree with Yelich. The only thing that's kind of like um, kind of going to hold Yelich back is once Yelich got hurt, the Brewers did their best. Like Brewers went twenty out of twenty-one games they won or something without Yelich there for a stretch. So Belly just hit nine. Yeah, Bellinger has less a less of a batting average. I think he was hitting three hundred three last time I checked. But Bellinger's probably going to get it. Hey, we got Tristan Pompey's our hit, hit from the Hammerheads. That one's going out to uh, the Marlins. Marlins Tristan Pompey. That one is going out to the Marlins owner, Gabriel M. Very nice. I think the Marlins were only a 999 team in this, one of the cheap teams. Nice to get a hit when you have a nice small investment. Tristan Pompey, and that's it for that box. Box number two. Anthony Rendon will definitely be getting some votes. I'll tell you what, that NL MVP is going to be a tough one. Because you got Rendon. You've got Yelich, you've got Acuna, you've got Freeman. Ketel Marte might get some votes. Definitely going to be interesting to watch. Box number two. Should Trout's rookie be the same as a 52 Mantle? Obviously, I don't think so. I think the mantle will always be worth a lot more than the trout, but that trout rookie will eventually, who knows, someday it might be worth 10 grand. A PSA 10 might be worth 10 grand in like 10 years. Right now it sells for about, what, 1200 bucks for a PSA 10? 2011 Tops update. And it keeps increasing every year. Probably get another nice bump if he wins the AL MVP. Might be 1500 by this time in, I don't know, November, if he wins it. Taylor Trammell out of 50. Got to keep a keen eye out for autographs. I feel like one's coming up. There it is. Kind of hidden there on the wall. Anthony Sigler from the Yankees. So that one goes out to Kevin R.H. Congratulations. And it's numbered also out of 25. Pulaski Yankees. Anthony Sigler. Very nice. I have missed autos before with Heritage because they are hidden. Sometimes. It's happened once or twice. FTC said I would have missed that auto. Dave says, anyone think that Dave Martinez's job is safe? I guess so. I mean, they fired Dusty Baker after making the playoffs. Sunghan Lin with a 200 yen super chat says... B war Soroka to Alonso 5.7 to 5.1 and F war 4 to 4.9. So Mike Soroka, yeah, don't forget about him from the Braves. Getting overlooked because of all the Alonso hype. Soroka might finish second, but I just feel like you can't deny Pete Alonso with hitting 53 home runs and leading all of baseball. But thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate your support. Tristan McKenzie from the Cleveland Indians is the next hit. Indians for Cody F. Cody, congratulations. That'll finish off this box in terms of hits. Still roll on through them just to be sure. There's the stack. Mookie had a 10 war season last year. Josh P says, if Alonso learns to be patient and takes some walks, he could hit over 300. Yeah, he'll probably, you know, the home runs will come down a little bit if he's taking his walks. I would imagine a little bit, but I'm sure the Mets would rather have more on base percentage out of him than a couple extra solo home runs or whatever. All right, so we have. Some base cards here. We already got our hits, but we'll just scroll through and see if there's anything numbered in here. Anything standing out? There's a wander. Two wanders. ABC Sneed. One, two, three. What's up, man? ABC Sneed just hit his 250 plateau to do that giveaway of the... What are you giving away? 2003 Miggy Cabrera rookie, I think. That's a pretty nice one. 
All right, box number three. Joseph Hughes, how's it going? Super baseball on top. We'll do those at the end of each round. How much would these packs usually sell for? Well, let's see. Um, maybe that's a tough question because I bought them by the case. Four bucks, four or five bucks. I don't know. If you guys frequent your LCS and have seen these on sale, let us know. Ghostface caught the last vid yesterday of my channel or ABC Sneed123. Four bucks, says Materva. That sounds about right. Four bucks. All right, so let's see who we have coming out of this first one. Thank you, Ghostface. And we got Nate Pearson as the game used relic. And that one is from the Blue Jays. So that goes to Sean S. Constipated in Sin City says, I remember, where'd it go? It scrolled up. A few months ago was Juan DeFranco related to a musical group in the 70s. I actually asked that. That's pretty funny. Before Wander was a big name. All right, there's going to be an autograph coming up out of the next stack. It's always very predictable. First stack either has an auto or relic, and the second stack has an auto or relic. We haven't gotten a single hit from the right stack ever. And we're, I don't even know, what, what box is this now? Um, a bunch. A bunch of boxes we've gone through. There's 12 boxes for, this is like box number 12. 21, I think. 21. You asked me that, okay. Could not quite remember. Brent McKay leads things off. Autograph coming near the bottom of the stack. Very predictable. Very, very predictable. Here's a numbered blue border of R Ryland Bannon. Autograph been coming in three. Two, one, zero. Wait, there it is. Carto Carlos Cortez from the Cyclones, the Brooklyn Cyclones. And that one is going out to, oh, not really sure. New York Penn League. Sometimes I can get some clues on the back. I'm not exactly sure. So Carlos Cortez, Dave G says the Mets. All right, Dave G with the call. So if it's the Mets, that goes to Mike M. Jason's back. We saw that you had a hit. Um, I don't think, I think you were in break B and you're not in another one till maybe next round or so. A couple nice hits, Arrow. We had Casey Mize was a nice one. I like that one a lot. None of the huge names like um, Wander Franco yet. We also had a Jared Kellenick. Kalenic, Kellenic, however you say it. I'm sure he'll be a household name within a couple years. This is the dead stack because there's nothing ever in that third stack. So avoid that at the card store if you're picking out a pack for yourself for four bucks. We've gone through two full cases and that third stack has never had a hit in it ever. Well, not quite two full cases, but almost. This is um, box number four of six. So this is box number 22 that we've opened. And third stack never has anything. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. This one's probably got nothing in it. So I feel like I wanna say, I always put these upside down. So I think it's the second pack that always has the hit for the auto. I'm not exactly sure. That just um, tells me that if I was going to a card store, I'd be a little wary of buying these because any card store owner that maybe opened a box or two of these is gonna see that, and if they're dishonest, they're gonna grab those packs out of there and just leave you with 
cold packs. So it looks like we got the relic in there at least. So let's get right to that relic. Probably a five cent relic, literally, with the nickel in there. And it's Julio Pablo Martinez from the Rangers. That one's going out to our Rangers owner, which is Raymond W. Very cool. That's, some people like those cards a lot. And finish off the stack. As you know, no autographs are ever in the same stack as a relic, as we've seen from our sample size. Materva with a $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Materva. Really appreciate that super chat. Make sure you guys take a second and check out Materva's channel. Give them some subs. A pitcher's war is worth less than a hitter's. I'm not sure how that works. I thought everything was supposed to be equal. NCJ Sports Cards with a $2 super chat says, hats off to Alonso. Yep, congratulations, Alonso. I guess it's actually second from the bottom that you'd want to grab. So here we go. Autograph coming up. There's the... Um, Kyle Mitchell, and it is just a photo variation, Wander Franco. Autograph coming in three, two, one, and where are you? There it is, Nick Madrigal from the White Sox. That one goes out to our White Sox owner, which is Kevin R.H. Kevin, congratulations on that. So I guess it's the top pack. All right, we got a cold stack right here. DeGrom should have been seriously considered as an MVP candidate, says DeBomb. Well, if the Mets would have been a playoff team, yeah, he definitely would have. And Sung Han says Madrigal never strikes out. That's a good quality to have. Put the ball in play more often, you're going to have a better batting average and be a better overall player. Which grading service do I prefer? Um, PSA for me, but PSA is been in some hot water this year so i don't know i just always like the uh i don't know i guess the look of the psa slabs a lot of people like beckett grading services bgs they break it down by four different categories some people think that bgs is tougher a little bit tougher to get a 10 all right that's that box Uh, because PSA was grading cards that have been trimmed. I don't know if you heard about that. I think it's called Slabgate. That was back in April, so that was a while ago. I don't know if anything ever came of that or not. I don't know too much about it. All right, let's do box number five of six for the folks in break D. Trying to see if we have a relic or not in this one. The Wander Franco image variation auto is in this, is a redemption in this set, says Andrew. Okay. Yeah, we've seen that card. Looks like we might have the auto coming out of this one. Can always kind of do a cross section. Eric A is off work tomorrow. That's pretty awesome. Lucky. Joey Bart numbered out of 99. Blue border. And autograph coming up. There it is. Ryland Bannon for the Bay Sox. That is the Orioles. So Corey J gets this one. Corey J, congratulations on your Ryland Bannon auto. And now it's time for the relic. Everyone swarmed the Topps website because they want to get the Topps now auto Alonso 53 home run card. I wasn't on there. I I never go on tops to get their stuff. I always hear about it afterwards and I miss out. Because I always buy my cases, you know, through a secondhand people. Looks like it's a game used relic coming up here. It's Key Brian Hayes from the Pirates. Key Brian Hayes, that's Charlie Hayes' son. That's game used. And that goes up to our Pirates owner, Brian S. So, Brian, congratulations on that one. Matera says, Top's website is awful to navigate. I haven't really ever... I mean, I've been on there a couple times, but I haven't really done too much on it. Can't really speak 
too much about their website, but I'll take your word for it. Maybe they're using the same design from years ago. I always hate that when websites just use the same design from like 10 years ago and just never update it. It's like all slow and everything. The Pete Alonso tops now 53 home run card is skyrocketing. Well, yeah, if it's sold out on tops and there's demand for it, that's definitely gonna happen. Probably see a lot of Pete Alonso cards skyrocket between now and November when he wins the um, National League MVP award. So his autos, we were looking for them before because they're valuable. I think those are going to be worth even more. Let's finish off this stack here. Nothing in, in here because we already got the two hits, but we'll look for numbered cards. There's usually not even numbered cards in this last stack. I don't think we've ever found a photo variation or a numbered card out of this third stack. Crappy third stack. Avoid that if you're buying your packs at your card store. All right, next box. This finishes off the case, and also this is the last one for the break D, folks. Super baseball. Put that aside. Sheet C stack. Yeah, it might as well be a sheet C stack in reference to the 1979 abysmal box. Still have to ship all those out. I got the Ozzie Smith on the way to Jared. The PSA 10, supposedly. Hopefully Ozzie Smith, but the rest I have to ship out still. Alonso won't win the MVP. No way. He'll win the... Um, did I say MVP? I meant Rookie of the Year. If the Mets were a playoff team, he'd have a, a shot at it. Yeah, their replacement box was very good. We got a Brent Rooker from the Red Wings out of 99. Still on break D. This is the last box of break D. In about a minute or two, we'll be on the next round. Nick Gordon from the Rochester Red Wings. We already had this one. Now I forget uh, what team he's on. Out of 99, Rochester Red Wings. Forgetful me. Somebody. That's the second Rochester Red Wings card we've had. Twins. There we go. I guess the Twins minor league team names are very forgetful to me. So that one goes out to Patrick B. Congratulations, Patrick. Now it's autograph time. Let's see who we can find for our autos. I want to say it's out of this pack, so let's just see if it's here. It should be in this pack, right? There it is. Brock Death Rage. So how predictable is that, that we can just pick the pack and find it? Brock Deathridge from the Tigers. That's for Dustin F. Congratulations, Dustin F. Might as well do... Well, there's a numbered card in here because that last stack is so abysmal. We'll save it for itself so I can fly through it because it never has anything, not even numbered cards in it. This one, I think I saw a black border. There we go. Out of 50, Denyi Reyes from the... Portland Sea Dogs. I think they're a Red Sox affiliate. And there's another base Death Rage in there. Death Ridge. Finish off this stack and we'll rip the supers. And then that'll be a wrap for break D. And then we'll move on to break E. See what we've got coming up here. Can pretty much speed on through these ones. There's a wander, two Ronder Francos. Those two are always almost back to back, one card in between. Not even a numbered card. Yeah, avoid the third stack like the plague. All right, that's it for break D. I'll show you those hits one more time, then we'll rip open the supers. The Box toppers. I guess we'll do them first. 2019 opening day. Yeah, we got a couple out of there. Autos. There's Joey Bart. I forget how many players are in the set, but we're seeing repeats of a lot of these. Julio Pablo Martinez from the Rangers. Seth Beer from the Astros. There might only be like 15 players in this set. Then we've got another Seth Beer. <laughs> NJC would like to buy on the 75 box break. Well, whenever I can save up $20,000 to buy the box, 
and figure out how many packs are in the box, how many cards are in the box, then we can do it. And then we have a Nate Lau is the last one from the Rays. Pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, a box of 75 authenticated is $20,000. And uh, I'd have to research how many packs were in a, in a, or how many cards per pack, and how many packs are in the box. And then basically figure that out how much that would cost to sell by the card. Brock Detheridge, and then we've got Nick Gordon, Hayes, these are the hits, Bannon, Madrigal, Juan Pablo, Cortez, Pearson, McKenzie, Sigler, Pompey, um, Kyle Lewis, and Bryce Turang were the hits. In break D, I mean, it's time for a brand new case, so give me a second to get it opened up. All right, the folks in break E, get their names on the screen. There's two teams who are unsold as of 7 p.m., so if we get a hit from those two teams, which were the Dodgers and the Nationals or the Royals, we'll call them out. We already had, a, I think, at least one Royals hit, Saley Matias. Actually, probably two, two Saley Matias's so far. We'll call those out. I'll look you guys up on eBay and see your real name so we can give you credit for your hit. All right, E is underway. This is a brand new case, so it'll be interesting to see if this stack is still complete. Um, nothing but boring base. Not that we don't like base, but if it's nothing but base, it gets a little bit boring. Um, Jason, I don't see you in this one. I don't see your name on the list there. You might be in the next one. Jason T... I don't know. I would check your eBay purchases and you can see there for sure which ones you're in. I think you're in the last one for sure, break H. All right, so here we go. Mikey's got the Royals. All right, Mikey, so if we pull a Sally Matias or any other Royal, we'll give you credit for them. And there's our hit. It's out of 25, Luis Robert for the White Sox. That one goes to John A-R-M-S. I think that's Armstrong, but couldn't really fit it all on there. And there's a couple John A's. So I just didn't want to put John A and cause confusion. But John Armstrong, congratulations on your Luis Robert game used jersey out of 25. First hit in break E. Now we're moving through this stack. It'll be interesting to see if that autograph comes off of that same pack, but it's always, always this pack. Bottom pack of the stack. We'll see if it's still there. Right in the middle. We have an autograph. Oh, they switched it up on us. Hallelujah. Very nice. Who do I have winning the wild card games? I'm going with the Rays over the A's, and I'm going with the Nats over the Brew Crew. Very nice. Looks like that third stack might be getting some love finally. Looks like that's the cold stack. So that'll be interesting to see if stack number two is always freezing cold, and stack number three is always the hit stack now. Brand new case. Primant, how's it going? Doing pretty well. Not looking forward to getting up tomorrow and getting to work. That's for sure. Jorge Soler, AL home run champ. Yeah, I saw that. Unfortunately, it's kind of too bad that Mike Trout got hurt because otherwise that would, that would have been Mike Trout's to lose. Trout would have probably hit 50 if he didn't get hurt. He was ahead of Soler when he went down. I mean, Solaire had a nice season, hit like 250-ish, but still, you can't discount all those home runs. There's a Jordan Alvarez, very nice, out of 99 from the Express. Autograph, where are you? Don't tell me we missed you. It's probably coming up with the next couple cards. 
There it is. Joey Bart. Very nice. Joey Bart. That's the best autograph so far. Slightly above the um, Casey Mize, in my opinion. Joey Bart. I mean, this guy could be like a 35 home run bat at the catcher position. Once he gets up to the bigs, that's going out to our Giants owner, which is Jake W. Congratulations, Jake. And uh, is that a photo variation, Joey Bart? I think this might be the photo variation, Joey Bart, if I'm not mistaken. It's out of 52, so I believe this is the photo variation. Very, very nice pool there. You'll have to let me know what that's worth on eBay. Joey Bart out of 50. Look for the one where he's in his catching gear. That's a good one, for sure. Got to get this situated. Put it in the down its box. All right, box number two. A lot of hype around him. Yeah, if you look at his minor league stats, he's kind of like profiling out to be a nice power hitter. John, if you want to get into future breaks, I've got National Treasures for sale right now on Patreon. Um, National Treasures, it's $500 a box. And Eric says that's a $150 card. $500 a box for National Treasures. Eight cards. And uh, basically, it's coming out to, I figured out, I paid after taxes like $21.20 for the box. And that's like $66.25 a card. You factor in eBay fees, it's like $74. And then like the shipping supplies and everything's an extra couple bucks. So I think I'm selling it for like $77 something per card. Which won't be bad if you hit a nice Babe Ruth, Hannes Wagner booklet. That's what the big chase cards are. Right now I've got two cases of it. And um, when I first put it on sale, we sold like, I think, 70% within the first hour. So I might add one more case, possibly. There is another breaker out there that has a case that he's offered to me. Uh, at his cost that I might grab. Next up, we've got a nice Alejandro Kirk out of 50. Should do a third case. Yeah, we might do a third case. Um, maybe do it on... If I add a third case, we'll probably do it on uh, Tuesday. And how about this one? Seth Beer. Very nice. A set, so it's a pretty good case so far. Joey Bart from the last box, now Seth Beer. Two of the top prospects in baseball. Gotta love that. That one goes out to the Woodpeckers owner, and the Woodpeckers are an Astros affiliate. So it looks like that one's going to Keith M. Seth Beer, gotta get that one sleeved up. That's probably at least a $50 card, if not more. Seth Beer. Casey Mize is the last one there. Let's see what we have in stack number two for break E. A, B, Q, S, C, and Z would buy a beer jersey. Yeah, that'd, that'd be an interesting jersey. Roan says Seth will do just fine on the D-backs. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Seth Beer is going to be a star, it looks like. We've got a relic coming up here. It looks like it's a five-cent relic. And it is going to be, let's get to it. Oh, maybe it's, I mean, it's got a nickel in there. So, Oh, it's a quarter relic. Very nice. So it's out of 25. Jonathan India. A little bit of a white corner there. That is out of 25. Oh, out of 50. No, I thought it was out of 25 because of the quarter, but it's out of 50. Jonathan India and a 1970 quarter. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, they should have done like silver dollars or something like that. Would have been nice. So they're up in their game a little bit with a quarter. Which means there's probably ones that are dimes in here as well. Maybe some JFK 50 cent pieces. I don't know. Last stack. This stack's going to be a cold stack with no hits. But we'll still go through it. You used to be able to make a phone call with that. I remember that. I remember back in the day using f pay phones. I remember this one time I got real mad at my mom because she wouldn't let me do, I don't know, I wanted to go somewhere or do something and she wouldn't let me do it. And I was like, I don't know, probably like 15 or 16. 
I remember being so mad, I just got on my bike and I started riding. And I rode for miles and miles, like probably like at least 15 miles. And then uh, eventually I was in the middle of nowhere. I didn't know where I was. So I came upon like a uh, a gas station and had to like figure out where I was. And I called my mom and like asked her to come get me. It was a real like tail between your legs moment. I just, I was so tired. I didn't feel like riding like 15, 20 miles back. Primat's already in the National Treasures break. That's going to be a fun one. Look over the checklist. There's some good stuff in there. And it looked like in the uh, pictures that I looked like, that I looked at, like the um, box was like a briefcase. So that should be pretty cool. <laughs> Best bike ride ever. Yeah, it's pretty funny because I rode out to the area where I live at now, which is pretty interesting. When's the preview of it? Well, the preview sold out, so... I could literally do the preview tonight, but it might be a little too late to upload it tonight. I'll probably put it up tomorrow. I've got a couple different videos that I have in the hopper, you know, that are like ready to be uploaded. I've got the weekend video that from my brother and I going out to um, antique stores, not really flea markets. We went to antique stores on Saturday, yesterday. Couldn't really go anywhere today because I had other obligations. And uh, Dylan Cease missed his last start of the season with a hamstring issue, but nice young pitcher for the White Sox. That one's going out to our White Sox owner, which is John Armstrong. So John with two hits in this round. Congratulations on that. Luis Robert. I'm trying to get my swimming pool back in order. It's, it's like time to close it up, and I want to go for one last swim. I feel like really... Really, um, I don't know, kind of like sad about my swimming pool because I've only gone swimming three times this entire year. And I've probably paid at least $1,000 to keep the pool open all year long. It's just the electricity bill and all the chemicals and stuff. And um, no one's been swimming in like a month. So there's some algae growing in the pool and stuff. And I want to get it ready for one last swim before we close it up for the fall. Just one last swim before getting that tarp put on and putting that antifreeze in there and all that garbage. Home pools are money pits. Rowan Bear has also found out. Yeah, I remember, um, oh, I don't know. My first, uh, first year of living here, got my electricity bill. It was $900. I was like, what the heck? $900? Anthony Sigler going out to the Yankees. That's Brian S., and um, yeah, it's because I had the pool open until almost the end of October and it's a heated pool. So having that heater running nonstop along with the pump just um, really ran up a, a huge bill. So I'm going to try to get it probably closed down very soon. The kids grow up and that's it for the pool. That's sad. Yeah, literally $900 for electricity pool electricity bill first year that i moved in here like two two years ago that one hurt for sure so i don't keep it that warm anymore and i'm just going to close it earlier and looks like we got our hits so that is another cold stack for the third round at least they're switching up a little bit Folks, an E. All right, so that's three boxes down. Three to go. Oaks fan says super chats should help. Well, super chats go back into uh, helping us do you know, better content. Like, for example, our trip yesterday cost, oh, I don't know, $50 at least in traveling. And I never asked my brother for a cent for any of the gas money because you guys are so generous. I just say, hey, Super Chat's covered it. But I'd like to just start doing some other trips farther away. 
maybe uh, buy us some plane tickets and go away once a month to, uh, I don't know, my wife really wants to go to Boston, so I've got to see if there's any good baseball card stores around Boston for this off season I could stop in at. Then she could go and see Boston, and I could go and buy some baseball cards, maybe do some videos. Melvin O'Don from the Richmond Flying Squirrels. That's for the Giants. That's for Jake. Congratulations, Jake. Like that one a lot. Kevin Biggio. Chet is considering living in a van. Has anyone ever done it? Um, I have not lived in a van. I would like to, one of these days when I retire, I'd like to get an RV. Come to Las Vegas, says Wesley. That actually would be really fun. You got baseball card stores there? Because I, I know you don't have like a major league team there, but you do have a triple A team, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know how prevalent the hobby is out in Vegas, but I would love to go and check it out. Endeavors with 200 hits. Several. I'll tell you what, I'm going to add that to my list of places that I'd like to go to. Cause you can actually fly to Las Vegas for pretty cheap out of Pittsburgh through good old Spirit Airlines. Pete Rose signed stuff there. Doesn't he sign like an arm, or doesn't he like, doesn't he sign an arm and leg? Doesn't he charge an arm and a leg there to have a signature done? Ryan Montcastle. Albuquerque. I would love to, if I ever get like a millions and millions of subs where I can quit teaching, I would love to do all that stuff and travel around to every, every city, like once a week, go to a different city. Tristan Casas from the Red Sox. That one goes out to Aaron F. Las Vegas Aviators. We're on break E. Sorry, it looks like I got it off the screen there a little bit. Break E, this is the fourth box of break E. So... We're trucking along about half an hour every round on average. So break F will be likely at 9.30. Break G will be at 10. And um, H at 10.30 and then that'll be a wrap. And Anaheim Skip, thank you very much for joining the channel there and hitting that join button. Thanks for your support, really appreciate that. New member, make sure you check out Anaheim Skip's channel, everybody. Give him some support, really appreciate that. 75 bucks for baseball to be signed. Well, for 75 bucks, Pete Rose needs to agree to do a video with me and sit down and tell me some stories. Cause that's, uh, I feel like a Pete Rose baseball isn't even worth that much anymore because he signs so much. Uh, Miguel Amaya on the blue um, sleeve there. Almost missed it again. That one goes to our Cubs owner, Ray. A, hey, congratulations, Ray. And Joshua Davis says, bought four hobby packs of this and pulled a blue you snail Diaz Wander Base and Brock Deathridge Auto, your favorite guy, Jabs. Would love some subs. Joshua Davis, thank you very much. Guys, help out Joshua Davis's channel. Give him some support. I really appreciate that. It's a pretty nice pull there. Buying four packs, getting a nice auto like that. All right, moving on to box number five for the folks in E. Looking forward to um, the break this week. Some nice, simple breaks for me. National Treasures, no sorting involved. It's one card. One random card. Same thing with um, Archive Signature Series. One card, no sorting, because I still have a ton of sorting ahead of me with uh, Bowman Chrome. I still only have the first three done of that, because I've been working on Patreon packages all weekend. Did A, B, and C. Still got to sort out the rest of that. And then this is going to take forever to sort. A, B, Q, S, C, and C says Primant with a great channel. Check them out. Good luck all on the break. Isotopes Park is a great park for triple A ball. A, B, and Q. You guys are making me wish that I could travel more easily. Just come on out to Las Vegas. Try my hand at some casino luck. I... I don't know, I only really like one game there, and it's um, Roulette. Probably the most boring game you can play, but I had some really good luck the first time I played Roulette ever. Matthew Libitor, black out of 50, black border. I ended up winning like $600 the first time I played Roulette, and they like accused me of cheating. Well, they didn't accuse me of it, but they made me feel like I was cheating. I, like, took my ID and everything and, like, went and photocopied my ID to see if I was, like, a known, like, cheater or whatever. 
And um, I was just doing a system, which actually, with roulette, I guess it's a common system. I thought I was like all genius for inventing it, but obviously someone else did. It's called like the Martingale system. Basically, I would just wait for like some pattern to, to, to show up like, oh, I don't know, like four reds in a row. You know, it's like that wheel that spins around and lands on red or black or a number, or even or odd, you can bet. And I would wait for it to like do four in a row on red, and then I'd go and bet on black because I was thinking, you know what? Black's got to come up. And then if I lose that bet, I would double it and I would just keep doubling it. And um, it worked. Won 600 bucks. And then uh, I went back the next time and tried it again. And I ended up losing 600 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm never doing this again. Joe Adele for the Angels. Andrew M. So it's all, everything's stacked against you in a casino and you should not do it. Unless you're just there to spend like, I don't know, a couple bucks on penny slots or whatever. I remember my brother and I, when we went to the National in Indiana, I went, I booked a hotel on Priceline and we stayed in Indi, well, the National was in Illinois, but we stayed in Indiana, drove out the night before, and I picked a casino hotel and there was no casino anywhere around it. It was kind of like false advertising. Did the good old stupid, um, what's it called? It's like the buy it now thing. You don't know what it is until you pay. I forget what it is. It wasn't Hotwire. It was Priceline. There's, there's, it'll tell you the price and give you like the best rate, but it doesn't tell you the hotel until you actually pay for it. Victor, Victor Mesa. Hyper Games wouldn't recommend staying at the Luxor. I'll have to remember that one. All right, moving on to the final box and break E. I've been kind of on an Airbnb kick on our recent trips, at least the family ones. You know, renting out someone else's house. Mostly because we have four kids and a hotel room with four little kids is Pretty miserable for everybody, just all packed in there. And Landon started a new channel because of me. That's I'm very honored, Landon. Thank you very much. Hotels.com for A, B, and Q. Steamy says you stayed at Paris, the Paris last year. I'm going to have to see if I can go somewhere on one of my... I don't know. Hey, we got a hit off the back. Come to think of it, I took the backpack and put it on top. Jordan Gross Hands from the Blue Jays. What a last name. Jordan Gross Hands. Gotta think that he was mercil mercilessly bullied for that name by all the sixth grade girls in middle school. That one goes out to our Blue Jays owner, Nick M. Nick M. Jordan Gross Hands. Gross Hans, probably. Is it Gross Hands or Gross Hans? Probably Gross Hans. But either way, interesting last name. And here is a nice Jared Kellenick. Joss loves how smooth the packs open. Have I tried renting an RV? No. I just feel like with the gas prices, it would end up being a lot more. Primant says, be sure to check out ABQ, SC, and C. Great content growing the channel. Primant, thank you very much. Make sure you also check out ABQ. Sub to both of them. Really appreciate your support, Primant. Primant's up over a thousand subs right now. He just hit it last, last week, September 20th, I think. You hit it. Next up, Dave Durango. We got to get Dave there. Dave Durango is at 921 coming into today. Hopefully he gets it within the next week. And Miguel Amaya from the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Is that the Cubs? I don't know. Who's the Myrtle Beach Pelicans? Is it the Cubs? Yep, it's the Cubs. I think it's like the single A team of the Cubs. Dave M says the Cubs. Good job, Dave. First on the call there that I saw pop up on my screen. And here's the cold stack. Two Pyramid hates these cards. 
two pyramid. How did you feel about the uh, regular heritage with the Major League one, like the one that came out in um, February? Some people don't like the heritage design at all. I I wasn't a big fan of heritage release one. I liked heritage high number a lot, mostly because of the rookies. All right, let's see. This is a cold stack. I didn't really like this heritage design, even the MLB ones. Yeah, 1970s, kind of a kind of a blah design compared to some of the other ones that Topps has. Uh, 1970s, probably in the bottom half of Topps designs of all time, with the gray borders. Not a whole lot of creativity or color in these designs but still if you get a good card it's pretty cool all right we gotta do super baseball now that's the end of break e let's rip these open i'm taking the rays we've got jared kelenic and these are all pretty much always the same bryce terang from the brew crew Seth Beer, Astros Uni. They've never actually pulled an auto. All these autos are always printed on Wander Franco. That would have been sick to pull an auto of his. Tristan Casas from the Red Sox. And the last one from Break E is a Nate Lau from the Rays. So those are your super ones. Let me clean these up. And Break F is coming up now. You can see there's a couple spots open up. I think those have been picked up. But if not, the link's in the description. You can buy those teams if you'd like to grab a spot. Let me just um, clean up break E really quickly. By the way, here's the hits in break E. It started out really well. Uh, we're going backwards right now. Joe Adele is a nice one. The ones in top loaders are the ones that are high value. Seth Beer and Joey Bart photo variation were the big ones in that break for break E. Now it's on the break F. It's Brandon Lau. Or it's Brandon Brandon Lau and Nate Lowe. I always get those confused, Matera. Nate Lowe. Brandon Lau. Nate Lowe. I'll have to try to remember that. Thank you very much. Always appreciate you hometown fans helping out with pronunciations of um, some of the tougher ones. Break F. All right, here we go. Never any Phillies hits. You got to get some Phillies hits for you. Phillies need to get some some love too. All right, let's get this opened up. Gotta find a nice Alec Baum hit for you. Super goes over there. ABQ wasn't a fan of Heritage Design at first, but it's growing on them since. Best hit of the night, probably we had some a nice tree of autos. We had Joey Bart photo variation. I think someone said it's like a $150 card. We also had a Casey Mize auto and a Seth Beer auto. We did do Topps Museum probably like two months ago. I try to keep up to date on everything. As soon as it comes out, I try to I try to break it on release day if, if possible. Sometimes it gets delayed by no more than a week. Like this just came out this Wednesday. No Wander yet, so we're still waiting on our Wander hit. And there is Kyle Lewis from the Arkansas Travelers. Again, I forget who Kyle Lewis is associated with. Arkansas Travelers, you're going to have to help me. Is that the Twins again? I can't remember. Arkansas Travelers. Are the Twins... I need to look at my cheat sheet. Mariners. A. Stainbrook, thank you very much. Hypergame says, question from my dad. He asks, where do you get your manicures at for them attractive hands? I just do them myself, actually. I don't think I have attractive hands. I think I have, I don't know, average hands at best. I got some dry skin on my one hand because I had an outbreak of um, eczema on it. And I didn't want to put any lotion on it because I didn't want to get it on the card. So I'm just going to see that dry skin on that finger. See how disgusting that is? 
I've got um, dishydrotic eczema, which is just basically your hands dry out every so often and you're, you get really, really dry skin and it goes away after about a week. Sometimes it doesn't come back for a year. Sometimes it comes back within a month. And it's, I found by, I found from researching, it's caused by stress. So I guess I'm under a lot of stress because I used to only get it like once a year, but I've been having it like once a month recently, which kind of sucks. Comes right around, I guess, every Patreon day, which is like the end of the month. I'm really trying to get all the packages out. Grace and Genista from the Braves. That one goes out to Braves Justin S. Oh yeah, next year's heritage is gonna be interesting for sure. With all those black borders, it's gonna be tough to get PSA 10s out of there. I mean, even like cards, like we've seen a couple. Is it from your thyroid, Lewis? That's a good question, but I've actually had this problem before my thyroid. It started like 10 years ago and usually it was like once a year. But I had my blood work done. He said all my levels are normal right now for my thyroid, like all my hormone levels. I have to take synthetic thyroid and supposedly everything's where it should be. Although I have to call them because I'm supposed to be getting a refill soon. I think it's run out and I don't think he re-upped it at the pharmacy. I have to go to the pharmacy every month and get a new bottle of pills to keep my thyroid going or I don't have a thyroid, so to replace my thyroid's purpose. And a super chat just popped up from Jack C. Says, when's the next auction Monday happening? Jack, thank you very much for that. Um, I don't know. Might try it once in October. And it's going to be, next time we do it, it'll be on Patreon only. The last auction, we had tons of trolls in there. Unfortunately. And um, I just, I think we got eight or nine people that paid going to ship out those as soon as I get my Patreon stuff done for the month, which looks like probably I'll get everything out for October or for September by, I don't know, like October 1st or 2nd, middle of this week. I'm really trying to get it done. I got so backed up for August that it's been taking me a long time to dig out of that hole. Synthroid makes my heart beat too fast, says David. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I got National Treasures calling. We might be doing that Tuesday night, maybe. I'm thinking Tuesday night would be a good time for that. Oh, yeah, I, I need to go and, like, go through. I haven't had time to go through all the people that paid yet and print out their receipts, swaggerty, and ship them off. But I haven't had one troll that bid and I think he won a bid for like 33 bucks. Nico Horner out of 50. That is a nice one for the Cubs. And the dude PayPal'd me 33 cents. Like, come on. Like, really? Nico Horner for the Cubbies. Getting this sleeved up right now for you. That one goes out to Cubs owner, which is Kevin R.H. That's a good one right there. Nico Horner. You guys probably have heard of him, especially if you're a Cubs fan. Very nice hit right there. So... Now we have to do this stack. You take armor thyroid. I take levothyroxin every day. Take this little purple pill and then I have to wait like an hour to eat. You have to gotta drink it. You gotta take a full glass of water on an empty stomach. How can you enter the card breaks? Colin, good question. Um, there's a link in the description if there's any teams left for this one. There was a handful of teams at the beginning, but they might have sold out since. There's Jordan Alvarez. That's a nice one for the Astros. That's going to be your MLB AL Rookie of the Year. That one goes to Nick M. Congratulations. That's our last hit from this box. And yeah, about Girardi. I think he, I think he will go to the Cubs. Thank you very much, Chet. Trying to stay as healthy as I can. Sally Lloyd loses skin from the fingertips on a regular basis. Yep, I don't know what causes. I guess there's, you know, different reasons that for dry skin conditions and stuff like that. Oh, that card slipped out. Am I feeling better? Yeah, for the most part. 
I do get a little tired from time to time. I just want to like lay down and take a nap. All right, let's see. Thoughts on the next Pirates manager? Well, I was kind of thinking they would clean house just because it's been an absolute debacle, but I feel like they kind of made Clint Hurdle a scapegoat. And um, he was part of the problem, but he wasn't the problem. I think that Neil Huntington, the general manager, should have gone as well. Like, I mean, he gives them the players. He's uh, he's the one that signed these awful clubhouse guys. Like, okay, Keone Kell is a complete idiot. Former closer for the Pirates, complete idiot. Just, I don't know. It's been a train wreck in Pittsburgh this year. And I hope they get someone that demands some respect in there. Gabe Kapler, you give us. This is the last box. No, third box. Third out of sixth. Dave Ross is going to be the Cubs manager. Napping means you're getting older. Yeah, getting up at 5, 15 a.m. every day doesn't, you know, doesn't help. One of these days, I'll be eating my dinner at like 3 p.m. at Eaton Park or Denny's and going to bed at like 6. And then getting up at like 4 a.m. I feel like that's kind of like a stereotype with old people. Like, they go to bed super early and get up super early. How much is shipping for 300 cards? Oh, I would say probably at least around 8 bucks. You could do, um, I don't know, put them in a 300-count box and put them in a flat-rate bubble mailer, which is about seven ish between seven and eight bucks that's how i would do it if you're shipping them off that would be your cheapest option yeah i heard about that avery i don't even say that dude's name we got helio Ram ramos from the giants that one goes out to our giants center linda w congratulations linda yeah i would ship them if you're shipping commons i would ship them priority mail flat rate uh, bubble mail, that's the cheapest. Should I have an auto coming out of this one? Some people will ship common cards with media mail, but you're really risking it because they can search those boxes if they suspect that you don't actually have books in there and then if you do um i forget who has to pay if it's uh if it's meeting me I, I think the shipper is supposed to pay but it, i don't know i don't know how that works i've never had anyone ship anything media mail to me that got busted i have seen people do it before they've sent me stuff media mail and it's been baseball cards like it's been like heavy cards and they didn't get busted Autograph, Owen Miller, Miller from the Padres. That one goes out to Joe B. Congratulations, Joe. Ryan Phillies fan threw out all of the Pirates' former closers' cards right into the trash. I thought about making a video about that, like destroying all his cards, and I have a bunch of his... Um, a bunch of his bobbleheads, which, I don't know... I felt like having my wife like soft toss me the bobbleheads and just like destroying them with a bat. Let's see what we've got. So this is just gonna be playing out the string of the box. We already got our hit and our relic. And that's it for that one. Next box coming up. This is box number four, I think. And break F. Yeah, Brett, number four. 
switch these packs around a little bit. Get a little more suspense. GLN305 with a $5 donation says, really enjoy your vids. First time catching you live, GLN. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your support there. Make sure you guys go check out GLN's channel and give them some support. Really appreciate it. Now I got no idea where the auto is because I mixed these up a little bit. So let's find out. Let's see if we can narrow it down. This is looking like a third stack right here. I guess I did a bad job shuffling. How much are these boxes? I think they're like 60 bucks maybe? I'm not exactly sure. All right, moving on to stack number two. Buddy's flying through these cards. Well, the base we've already seen a million times. Well, not a million times. We're probably like at least 10 to 12 each card, so. Later rounds, we're mostly looking for the autos and the relics. One of one bazooka auto would be nice. We pulled one of those. Oh man, Chet, don't tell me that. Chet thinks I missed the auto. I just put them down in the box too. The autos are very missable in these, as you've seen, like... Those blue laces had me thinking that might have been an auto for a second. Well, we didn't miss the auto. There it is. Grayson Genista out of 99 for the Braves. That one is for Justin S. Now we just need to find our relic out of here. There's a vo variation of Drew Waters. Another Drew Waters. Maybe that's not a... Why is that the exact same looking card? Drew Waters and another Drew Waters, like right after it. So I guess it's just upside down just to trick us into thinking it's a photo variation. Top's playing a little April Fool's Day joke. All right, Relic should be coming out of this. Do I like Fortnite? I've never actually played Fortnite. I know what it is, but never played it before. No, it wasn't an auto. The Grace and Genesis was just a Parallel auto. Yeah, I could do that. I'd probably get demonetized for for doing that though. Kyle Muller, maybe maybe burn the bobbleheads. I have like a whole case of them too, which really stinks. Relic coming up. Where are you? There it is. Christian Pache for the Braves. That one's for Justin S. Game used memorabilia. Christian Pache. You'll see him up in the bigs probably within a couple years or so for the Braves. Probably playing right alongside Acuna up there. All right. Next box. Box number five of six. I have to kind of uncover my box cutter here. It's getting... Buried by wrappers. People are still buying Pirates Former Closer stuff. That's surprising. I don't know why they would do that. Will Mookie leave Boston? Well, not under on his own accord. I think he's, you know... The, Red Sox have control him for a few more years. So if the Red Sox decide to trade him for a nice haul, they could ship him off. Andrew says, is it more is it possible for more packs other than the baseball? Do you mean are you on the $25 tier? For the $25 tier, a lot of tier, a lot of people asked about that, and I made basically the same tier and just made it, oh, you're on the $50 one. I guess, you know what, I probably should do a variation of that, huh? Instead of the baseball, just um, up the packs a little bit. I'll think about that, because I could do that. There's a Shervin Newton, Moneybags Newton. I know right now, um, a lot of you $50 guys should have gotten your stuff in the mail either today, or not today, 
Saturday. Oh, there's the autograph. Very, very hidden there. Tristan Pompey for the Hammerheads. And he belongs to the Marlins. So another Marlins hit for Aaron F. But you $50 folks should have gotten your stuff on Saturday. Or maybe if you live farther away tomorrow. I think I shipped that stuff out late last week. Maybe like Thursday or Friday. Y Yachty's retiring? I didn't know that. Didn't Yachty or Molina strike out in his last at-bat against Ben Zobris today? I was watching that game and then like the freaking internet cut out. I just saw like the Zobris walking off the field and Yachty standing at home plate. I did not know that if he is retiring. I mean, he is getting up there in age, but he's still a decent player. Oh, I think he still has a couple years left. Do I think the Braves have a chance at the World Series? Sure, anyone's got a chance at the World Series. Whatever team gets hot at the right time. Domingo Acevedo is the next hit for the Yankees out of 99. That one goes out to Derek M. Get hot at the right time. You can just blow on through the playoffs and win the World Series. I was, Yachty's, you know, he's not the same player as he used to be, but I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. I was kind of doing a little analysis on Joey Votto, and I was surprised how crappy of a season Joey Votto had. Hitting like 260 with like low amount of home runs for that ballpark, Great American Ballpark. I was like, come on, Joey. I thought you were on like a Hall of Fame track here, but I'm not so sure anymore, man. Joey Votto looks like he's going all Miguel Cabrera and just kind of like fading out. Yeah, definitely overrated now. I, I was shocked kind of like analyzing his stats. It's like, that's not the Joey Votto that I remember. Not a lot of power, low average for him. Chet says he got off to a horrible start. These are all base cards, as we already got the auto. Jim Abbott should be a Hall of Famer, says Eric. He definitely should have at least some of his memorabilia in there. You know, that's a... A good thing for kids with disabilities to go there and see that, you know, a player that without a hand could be a pitcher. Oh, yeah, Miggy's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's uh, only about, what, 15, oh, I don't know, 15 home runs shy or so, five, 500, I think. He's getting close to 500. Might get there next year. It's doable within next year. That's all I know. I can't remember the exact total. All right, last box from break F. Jim Abbott didn't want to ever be known for his disability. Says Chet. Rich says $2. Did I miss a $2 super chat? I don't see any within the last like five minutes that I missed. I don't think I missed any. But thank you very much if you tried to send one and it just came out as text. CC Sabathi's a lock. I don't know if Sabathi is a lock or not. Um, I would say he's probably going to take at least five years to get in there. Yeah, no mods here tonight. I guess they're all off um, watching the Sunday night football game, maybe. Whoever's playing, I don't follow football, but... Here we have a Royce Lewis out of 99. Jim Abbott did throw a no-hitter in his career. Took Messina a few tries, so I think it's going to take CC at least a few tries as well. There's Nate Pearson out of 25 for the Blue Jays. That one goes out to our Blue Jays owner, which is Henry B. Congratulations, Henry. Now, this is a nice, mellow break. Not a lot of people like the minor league cards, so nice and mellow. It's a lot easier to read all of your um, chats as they're not quite flying by like they usually do. Abbott no-hit the Indians on September 4th, 93. How do you remember that? Hits exams likes the chill breaks like this. Yeah, if this was like 1975 tops, man, that would be... It would be crazy. I'd... It wasn't a redemption card for a card. It was a it was a redemption card for um, the trash cans 
be like a make your pro debut with the trash whatever something. I'll show you when it comes up again. There's like one in basically almost every stack. Break's going pretty... Oh, there's the redemption. Wander Franco! So you called it there. I thought you were talking about the congratulations that you could try out for the trash pandas. But we just got the Wander Franco Real One Autograph Player Name Color Change Parallel. What the heck is the Name Color Change Parallel? What's that out of? Name Color Change? That might be a nice low run on that one. Can anyone go on eBay and see what that goes for? Wander Franco, very, very nice. Out of 25, says Theoden. If that's true, that's a nice, valuable one there. I mean, any Wander is going to be valuable out of 25. Going out to our Rays owner, which is Brian S. Huge hit for Brian. Congratulations, Brian S. on your Wander Franco. Out of 25, name change. Very, very cool. Like that one a lot. I wonder what that goes for. I mean, I think I feel like Wander's autos have come down a bit in price over the past month or two just because it's kind of been a little bit of saturation of his autos in eBay. Anyone pulling Wander autos is pretty much putting them right on eBay, it seems like. $300 says Didhart Packers. That is very, very nice. Congrats on that pull right there, Brian. Awesome stuff. Serious Card says Shane B's got an awesome channel. you check out Shane. So what well, we got we got our hits, so this is all just gonna be base. One's asking for 800 One's at 51 bucks in an auction. See, I thought you meant this. This is not a redemption. It looks like a redemption, but it says you you type in a code and see if they pick you for the trash pandas to go and take back. Oh, we got another one! Another two hits in the same box. Good thing we looked through the ones that we don't think are gonna have anything. And a $5 New Zealand Super Chat from MG says, Hey, Eric, haven't checked in for a bit due to work, but now just laxing out on a rainy Monday and watching. Hope all is well with the family. MG, thank you so much. Over in New Zealand. That's awesome. Um, one day I hope to get over to New Zealand. Alec Thomas, by the way, is for the Diamondbacks. And that one goes out to our D-backs owner, Henry B. The Trash Panda cards. No, I just... Um, they're basically trash they're not really worth anything so i think last time when i did it i just i tried to redeem them all to see if i could be a minor league baseball player for one day and i didn't win anything which i pretty much expected and that's it for that case case break f we have to do the super baseball ones real quick before breaking on through the last round so let me number the box here, break F, and break F. Let's do these super baseballs. We got Wander Franco. Again, these are printed autos on these. And then we got Sally Matias from the Royals. And we've got Trevor Larnock from the Twins. Ronnie Mauricio from the Mets. We've got Nico Horner from the Cubbies. And the last super baseball one is a Tristan Casas from the Red Sox. So that's in the books. Break F is in the books, I should say. And the big hit there was the Wander Franco. We'll just go through them real quick. Put these over in the hit pile and then sleeve them up. Where's that? There's the Grayson Genista, Owen Miller. Jordan Alvarez was a nice hit. Nico Horner was a nice hit. And then you got your relics in there. But the Wander Franco right there, that's the name change parallel. That's the big one. All right, so break F is done. And now it's time to move on to our final case of the night. Break F. Break G. And break H. So here's all the folks in break G. There's a couple spots that were left unsold at the start of the day. Or the start of the break. And I think they've been since sold. But if we do have a hit, as always, we'll look you up and see who you are. And give you proper credit. Nice proper shout out. Just 
move some stuff around here. All right, here we go. Break G, first box. I forgot to ask her about the witch story. Totally forgot to ask her about that. I'll have to try to remember to ask her that and let you know in the next live stream. Olivia was having a sleepover with one of her friends and literally scared her out of here. And she wanted to go back home because Olivia scared the crap out of her with some witch story. All right, new case, break G. Let's see what we find. We already found a Wander, $300 card. We found Seth Beer Auto. We found Joey Bart, Variation Auto. I don't know why I said variation like that. We found Nico Horner. We found Casey Mize. I'm trying to think who else we're missing that's really big. Andrew says, they're all sold out. Okay, thank you very much, Andrew, for the update. So if we get a hit from the Marlins or the Nationals or the Red Sox or the Cardinals or the Angels, we'll stop and double check who got them and give them their proper congratulations all right first box and there's our first hit it's a jesus sanchez from the birmingham no the montgomery biscuits out of 99 i think you guys said that was the raise if it is the raise it's for eben or eben eben l congratulations eben i think you said that was the raise if i'm not mistaken by the way it's out of 99 if i didn't already mention that yeah, I think there was a couple cards back-to-back. -back. That's happened a couple times. Drew Waters was almost back-to-back -back as well. How much are a box of these? I think they're like $60, $4 a pack. I buy them by the case, so I, I never really remember. I always buy them a couple weeks in advance just to make sure I have them reserved and on the way. Do I think Acuna cards will hold their value even though he fell short of 40-40? Well, let's see how he does in the playoffs. If he's got a big playoff run in him, then yeah, I think they'll keep going up. If he kind of stinks in the playoffs or is injured and can't really play, they might come back a little bit. I know he's shut down for the rest of the regular season. They're going to reevaluate him for the playoffs. And um, he's got that bad hip and groin, which... Kind of a shame. There's Daniel Johnson for the Rubber Ducks. Tim Tebow. 800 for the Wander. Really? The Wander out of 25 is worth 800. And Alec Thomas from the Diamondbacks is the hit. That one goes out to Jessica O. Oh, and that's a nice one right there. It's numbered out of 90, 99. Blue Border. Like that one a lot. Absolutely. He's playing in the playoffs, says somebody. Shane B says, man, I hope Wander's like a superhero with all this hype. Yeah, he seems like um, that is a lot. He does have a lot of hype. Wander Mania has pretty much been a main theme of 2019. We started off with Vladdy Mania, but that kind of cooled off a bit. I kind of feel like Vladdy's cards have come, come down in price, especially his autographs. They used to be going for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now, some of his autos sell for like 50 bucks. I saw that Bumgarner done as a giant, it looks like. He had his final appearance. He got the pinch hit against Clayton Kershaw, which was pretty nice. Clayton Kershaw, being the, the man that he is, called a catcher out to the mound so that the uh, crowd could give bum garner a nice final ovation as they all recognize that it was probably the last time you'll see him in a giants uniform as his contract is up kind of surprised that the giants didn't trade him kind of thought maybe they would have the wander was just in the last round break f i think it was fifth box and break f or something like that we're on break g right now Mad bum. I thought for sure like he was going to get traded to like maybe the Indians or the Twins because the Indians needed help with uh, Corey Kluber being hurt. But didn't happen. Did Hart Packers is my bad on 300 so it's an $800 card. So Wander Franco, 800 bucks. That's crazy. I'm going to have to make sure that you... Do a good old signature confirmation on that one. Make you sign for that so no one swipes your package off your porch step. It wasn't too long ago. All 
All right, let's see who we've got coming out of this one. Wilson Contreras out of 15, or William Contreras, sorry about that, out of 15. That's a nice one right there. It said Wilson for a second. So used to seeing, saw the W, saw the Contreras, and just automatically went into MLB mode. Forgot we're in MILB mode, MILB. I used to joke with my wife and make her mad at me on purpose because you know how husbands can be sometimes. Um, when we were considering what to name our son, I was insisting that we called him Milb. <laughs> MLB jabs, like, you know how there's some kid named Espen somewhere? Well, I was I was acting serious. Alec Thomas again for the D-backs for Jessica O. I was like, if if we have a son, and when, when EJ was, uh, when we saw that EJ was a boy, it's like, I want to name him Milb, M-L-B jabs, but pronounce it Milb. Needless to say, she wasn't having that at all. Would have been an interesting name, though. All right, so we got our auto. Now it's time for a relic. I know, Pat. It was it was just a joke. I know names need vowels. Chet's gonna name his first son Seven, like George Costanza. All right, let's see. <laughs> You've seen A B C D E. I think somebody had an incident. They had a name, something like that, where they tried to get on a flight and the flight attendant started laughing at them and uh, making fun of them. Nolan Jones, black border out of 50. Very nice. It's a quarter. That one goes out to our Hillcats, Lynchburg Hillcats. They used to be the Pirates affiliate, but I don't think they're the, the Pirates affiliate anymore. Who's got the Hillcats now? Let me know if you know. The Hillcats. This is break G, so we're almost done. This is the last case that we're on. We got G and H. Next stack. I haven't watched Seinfeld in like a long, like 20 years it seems like, Chet, but I still remember a lot of that stuff. That was a great show. I used to watch it all the time. Coins not being right side up bothers you. Yeah, they, they should have done that. Like, you can't really like, moving around, like, it doesn't really move. So it's not like it like jiggled around and shipping. The Hillcats are the Indians, says Joshua Davis. So that would mean they go to Scott S. I'll double check all that before sending it off. But Scott, congratulations. If the Hillcats really are the Indians affiliate, that's yours. That card is yours. And um, let's see, I think we got our auto out of this already. Yep, that's all base. The auto out of there was the Alec Thomas. I do like 89 Fleer. 89 Fleer is a nice set. I'm, I would say I'm a fan, especially of the, uh, the earlier print runs going after the air cards, like the Randy Johnson and the Bill Ripken. Chat, these are, they're not going to be a pain to sort. These are going to be a nightmare to sort. Are you going to do a playoff predictions? Uh, Mastery Builder. I mean, like, do a video about it? I could go all, like, giraffe neck mark and, like, do some analysis. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I think MLB is having a some kind of contest where you can fill out a playoff bracket. If you get them all right, you can win, like, $250,000. You might want to look into that. I feel like a bunch of people might get that. Get that right, at least. Because there's only, what, a grand total of 10 teams in there. It's not like the uh, NCAA tournament where there's... How many teams are in the NCAA? Like 128? Or, or I don't even know. 64? Something like that. I don't follow basketball at all, so... I know they have something for the NCAA where you can win a million sixty-eight. So I feel like it's a lot easier to pick a perfect playoff bracket than it would be to pick a, an NCAA one, but still, it's worth it for two hundred fifty thousand. Adonis Medina. We gotta find an Adonis Medina autograph card for a Phillies owner there. And there's a Luke and Baker. I feel like that's like the fourth Luke and or fifth Luke and Baker for the Cardinals. That one goes out to the Cardinals owner, which is nobody. So who owns the Cardinals? 
Got to take a minute and figure out who the heck owns the Cardinals. Where's my laptop at? It's probably buried underneath loads of this trash. Where the heck is my laptop at? It should be within an arm's length of me. I know it's within an arm's length of me because I updated the um, brake list thing. If you got the Cardinals, give us a shout out so we know who you are. I cannot find my computer. I think it's buried underneath all this trash. I always have loads and loads of garbage from these brakes. And now I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. It's underneath half of the case. That kind of stinks. All right, so the Cardinals are owned by, let's give you a proper shout out. Let me just hit refresh. I'll keep ripping while I try to figure this out. Okay, so let's do, this is called Miners. I'm trying to narrow it down because I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing a bunch of Panini National Treasures coming up. This is my recently sold ones. With all the parks I've been to, what's my favorite? That's a tough one to, to say. Um, Linda W's got them. Linda, congratulations on your Luke and Baker. Linda W just picked them up at 8.34 p.m., so about an hour and a half ago. It's like that's when they sold out. The Cardinals were the second-to-last team to go, and Linda picked them up and got a hit. So, break G, Cardinals. Linda, I'm looking at it right now. Abraham Toro. Samosa's 89 score card, not a rookie. It's 89. Uh, I would say that that's his rookie. I consider that to be his rookie. Smoltz. 89 tops, 89 Donruss, 89 score. I know that you might be thinking of Edgar Martinez. That one says rookie on the top, but his rookie's 88 Fleer. Buddy Reed from the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Sod Poodles, don't know who they belong to. Let me know if you know, so we can give credit to whoever owns that one. The Sod Poodles. Interesting name for sure. Rubber Ducks, last stack. Joey Bart on the back. Yep, definitely these minor league teams have interesting names. The Sod Poodles. I wonder what their mascot is, if it's an actual poodle. The Padres, says Paul. If it's the Padres, then it's going to Brian S. What break are we on? We're on break G. And uh, looks like we're about three boxes in. Three boxes in. So break H is the last one coming up next. Probably done right around 11 p.m., maybe a little before. We already found an $800 Wander Franco auto, which was really sick. It's a redemption, but it's an auto out of 25. Name change parallel. That was the best one by far. All right. Box number four of six for the folks in break G. Survival's got to go to bed. Bye. Okay, survival. I don't know if you're saying you got to go to bed bye or you got to go to Betty bye. I know when I was a little kid, we used to call it Betty bye. I hope I was like four years old when I said that. We're on break G right now, Jason. And this is box number four. So um, break H is coming up in about, I would say it's about five minutes a box on average. So about 15 minutes, maybe, maybe a little sooner. You're doing paperwork. That paperwork definitely does suck. Progress reports for us are due tomorrow for us teachers, so we have to go and double check all the grades, make sure they're all accurate, make sure we have all the assignments in there, and then submit them, and then the kids get a progress report on Wednesday if they get to take home to their parents. Um, kind of important because progress reports determine if you can play sports or not. That's out of 99, by the way, Cal Mitchell. Nice Bo Bichette for the Bisons. And how about that one? Joey Bart trying to sneak an autograph by us as some sort of like design in the sky or cloud there. Joey Bart autograph. Very nice. Joey, thank you for signing there and not on your black jersey. I mean, this man gets it. 
Joey Bart, very, very nice. That's our second Joey Bart. The first Joey Bart we pulled was a photo variation out of 50, where he's just uh, kind of standing at the plate in his catcher's gear. This one goes to Brian S. Let me get this one top loaded up for you. That's a nice one, Joey Bart. I would say, what, 50 to 100 bucks on this, Joey? Very sneaky signature there. Almost missed it, especially when you're going through, you know, trying to go at a nice pace and Joey Bart right after. I'm trying to keep these so that, you, you know, it's a half an hour around. Sally Lloyd's got to head off. Going to watch the rest on replay. Sally, thank you so much for being here. I don't know what time it is over there in England, but it's got to be pretty late or early, I think. I want to say you're like eight hours ahead of us. So is it like 6 a.m. there? I can't remember. Paw Paw says, I'm going to have to pick up some of this. Did it just release? Yep, it just came out on Wednesday. I did the preview video on Wednesday, and then we were backed up with Bowman Chrome, so I pushed this one back to tonight, 3.17 a.m. Okay. Yeah, you, it definitely is time for you to go to bed, Sally. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Alex Kirilloff from the Twins, Patrick P. Gets that one. Alex Kirilloff again. He's going to be a nice player. So we got both of our hits. Now it's just time to look for numbered cards. Cold stack again. That third stack is always freezing cold. Well, we'll see if we find any numbered cards. Tim Tebow's lifetime batting average will be 316, says Wax TV. Uh, I don't know about maybe his slugging percentage. Um, he had a pretty rough season this year. Why are these sticking together? What the heck is this? There's like... That's a cone. These are sticking together. I thought for a second that we had like a piece of like... I don't know. Some piece of candy from a Topps worker. But those were definitely sticking together. But that red thing was a cone. Oh, well, there's no autograph in this stack. But we do have a nice out of 15 Tyler Freeman. Dean Kramer. And that's it for that box. Moving on to box number five of six for this round. Man, I really hope that I can make my pro debut for the Trash Pandas. That'd be a fun video to make. Take you all along with me for the ride. Do some live streams and stuff. Tim Tebow will never see an MLB field, period, says former Blue Jays catcher Pat Borders. Yeah, you know what? If I was a betting man, I'd probably see, say that you're right on that. I mean, he's given it a really good go, and I feel like this next season is going to be do or die for him. Like, if he starts off the year and halfway through the year he's hitting, like, 167, I feel like, I don't know, it might be time for him to... Go back to being a football analyst. I mean, he makes great money doing that. So either way, if he makes it or he doesn't, he's going to be set. We've got Kibu Ruiz from the Dodgers. This one's going out to our Dodgers owner, Kevin R.H. Congratulations. It's Pacers is thinking about buying a Chronicles hobby box. Yeah, I forget. What do you get? Five hits in a hobby box of Chronicles? It's a pretty fun one to do. I like Chronicles a lot. I pulled a uh, Vladdy Jr. auto out of my chronicles pack yesterday in the all about the hobby box was pretty stoked about that middle stack here got the ruiz already not looking for the autograph gotta make sure i don't miss it These in their stack right there. All right, let's see who we have. Nolan Gorman would be a nice one to pull. There's Kirilloff again. Bryce Turang. Auto might be coming up. 
Roberto Ramos looking pretty scary. We have a league leaders out of 50 featuring Will Craig from the Pirates. Former Pirates first round draft pick. And where's my auto? There it is. Grayson Genesta from the Fire Frogs. That's the Braves. That goes to Josh D. And there's a Luis Robert, Jordan Yamamoto. And last stack has no hits in it, but the last third stack did at least have a parallel out of 15. So we'll see. Who gets the league leaders types cards? Well, what happens is there's usually like three or four of each card, so I just divide them up among each person. And if there's an extra one, then I'll just give it to whoever has whoever's in first place on the league leader list. I can usually get get enough so I can give it to one of each to everybody. So this one will go to like the first one go to Vital Brujon. And what I do is I sort these numerically. So, like, I'll have, like, all these back to back to back to back. It really takes a long time to do it that way. And then after I have them all sorted numerically, then I go through and I'll start with, like, I'll start with the first team that I always do. It's always the Orioles. And I'll look at all five of the Orioles um, minor league affiliates. And then I'll have to search, do a control F search on a giant spreadsheet that I make. I have to type up the whole spreadsheet of every player, every um, every minor league team, which, by the way, is already done for me on Cardboard Connection, but I have to go through and I have to write all the major league affiliate next to it. So then I'll type in Orioles and find all the Orioles and then match it up like card number 50s for the Orioles, take out all the card number 50s, put in the Orioles, then go to the next one. It might be card number 76. Take out all the card 76, put in the Orioles pile, and keep going down through the list until I get all the Orioles cards out of there. It takes forever. This is definitely my least favorite one to sort by far last box for the folks in break g but i've got some time coming up next week after patreon stuff gets done early this week and then i won't have to sort national treasures and i won't have to sort retired player signature series Pat Borders says, I'd stop doing minor league for that reason alone. You're a trooper jab. Jabs. Thank you very much, Pat Borders. Um, yeah, we need some clerical days coming up. I think we do have a clerical day coming up, but it's not until like the first week in November. Clerical days are awesome because if you have all your grades done and you have like all your lesson plans done and everything, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can decorate your room. You can read the paper. I would probably take my cards and sort them all out if all my stuff was up to date. Get a nice hour and a half lunch break, sort cards the whole time. We've got a Justin Dunn out of 99. CLG would like to see a Pirates hit. Yeah, we got to find one for you. We had a Key Brian Hayes. In the, I think in the last round, there's a Key Brian Hayes game used. And there's Owen Miller for the Padres. That one goes out to our Padres owner, which is Brian S. Brian, congratulations on your Padres hit. And so now we just need to find a relic out of this one. I don't know if Yamamoto Auto's in the set or not. I know he's got a base card in here. Isaac is requesting an autograph from former Blue Jays catcher Pat Borders. Two more packs. Any Pache autos? No, we've found two of his game-used relics, but none of his autos yet. JB says the 70 design has grown on him. He likes the Pete Alonso high number heritage better than the Series 2, I think it said before it disappeared. Where's our relic? Any big hits? Yeah, $800 Wander Franco autograph out of 25. It's a redemption. It's still really cool. Khalil Lee from the Arkansas Naturals. Um, who's who's the Arkansas Naturals? It kind of looks like a Texas Rangers color scheme, but I have no idea. Khalil Lee, you'll have to let me know, those of you that 
are from that area or know a ton about minor league baseball. So we can shout out the owner there. Rangers says it's exams. But he thinks it's the Rangers. Scotty says Rangers. All right, so that goes to Aaron F. if it is indeed the Rangers. Again, I'll double check it when I make my master spreadsheet. Okay, last stack here. And JB's wants to know everyone's thoughts on Seth Beer. All right, so we already got our hits. This is just looking for numbered cards. Looks like this is going to be all base. Some good ones in there. Casey Mize, Pache, Key Brian Hayes, Austin Riley. And that is it for break letter G. So let me just clean up these singles, these base ones. We'll move on to the last round, right on schedule for 1030. I'll show you the autographs from break G and then I'll also, I also owe you a um, look at the supers. Here's the supers. We got Luis Garcia from the Phillies. These are the break G supers. We've got Jared Kelenic from the Mariners. We've got another one from the Mariners, Jared Kelenic. Don't forget about Wander. Rays. Nico Horner from the Cubbies in the last one. Nick Madrigal from the White Sox. Those are the supers for the folks in break letter G. All right, so here's the hits. Yeah, he is on Arizona, but He's in the um, Woodpeckers uniform, so it goes to the Astros. Joey Bart, he was traded, um, you know, about a month ago, so it's not enough time. These cards were probably done long before then. Best one in there was likely the Joey Bart, in my opinion. So now it's time to finish up this break. One last round here. These are the break H'ers. Last round. Here's everyone's name. Sold out break. This one looks like sold out before the end. I'll check that out, Tim. I remember you said that. That'll definitely save some time. Here we go. Six more boxes. Super gets done last. Marvel Aussie says, you've been hitting one break per half hour. Pretty consistent tonight. Thank you very much. That was the goal to try to stay on schedule there and make it easier for people asking, hey, when's my break? I try to get an idea with like the first round. Can usually kind of figure out my pace and then give you a pretty good idea after that first round. Sometimes it's a little hard to figure out because usually the first round has one less box because of the preview video. But yeah, about 30 minutes around. We'll be ending right around 11 p.m. tonight. And then it's back to working on some Patreon packages for me until probably like 1 a.m. and then heading to bed. And there is Melvin Adon from the Flying Squirrels. That one is for the Giants owner, which is Linda W. Congratulations, Linda, on your Adon hit. Autograph will be coming out of the second. Second stack here. What time do I usually go to work? Um, yeah, I usually leave around then, Shane. Usually have to be up out of bed by 5.30. Get my work clothes ready. I do the old lazy way of getting my work clothes ready. I don't know how you guys that have to dress up every day get your stuff ready, but 
I'm not much of an ironing guy, so I take my work clothes and I splash some water on them and I throw them in the dryer on super high heat for like five to 10 minutes and they come out nice and wrinkle free. I never was really into ironing, so that's just my little life hack to not have to iron. We've got a Usnail Diaz from the Orioles. Autographs should be coming up soon. Keston Hira. And there it is. Travis Swaggerty. So we have our Pirates hit. There we go. It's for Jessica O. So had the key Brian Hayes two breaks to go. And now Travis Swaggerty, number one pick for the Buckos. Very, very nice. Hey, Jim A says, so you're opening baseball cards. Who cares? What a nice guy. Thanks for stopping by, Jim. I'd love to see the videos that you routinely watch so I could better cater to your needs. Last stack in box one. Got our two hits. This is just gonna be all base cards. Might be a numbered one. It's exam says he's definitely an avid rice gum watcher. I guess I'm gonna have to start making fun of um, little kids' intros and stuff like rice gum used to do. That's how he got big. Would make fun of little kids doing awkward things, and now rice gum's pretty irrelevant. All right, box number two. Two of six. I'd like to find one more big auto on the night before we call it a night for you folks in break F. What do you have on while doing packages? Music, MLB highlights. Sometimes, Joe, I'll put on like a late game, like a West Coast game, but that's pretty much over with now with the season being over. Other times I'll just put on maybe some Dave Matthews. Just something to, you know, kill the monotony of it. What's been the biggest hit so far? An $800 Wander Franco out of 25. Name change variation. Um... It's a redemption, but still 800 bucks. Pretty nice one. Also, we had two Joey Barts. One of them was a photo variation. We also had a Seth Beer and um, Casey Mize, Nico Horner out of 50. And now we have Jonathan India from the Reds. There we go. Jonathan India. That one goes out to our Reds owner, which is Jason W. Congratulations. And it's out of 99. That's a nice one. Jonathan India, young third base prospect for the Reds. Wander, it's, it was like name change. It was like name color change variation. Daniel says, Dave Matthews, the best band ever at something in 96 when his sister got married in Wheaton, Illinois. That's pretty cool. I didn't start listening to Dave Matthews until 99. NCJ said, I missed both the 81 and 83 breaks. Well, I'm thinking about starting to maybe in the winter do case breaks of the older stuff because a lot of people always miss out on like the stuff from the early 80s and they're all bummed out about it. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to pick up cases of that and um, just do it that way. We got Royce Lewis, 1970 nickel. That one's for the twins. James T, congratulations on that one. And we'll finish this box off with the cold stack. Baltimore Box Breakers is here. What's up, man? Ron B is in the house. We're on the last round. We're going to be finishing up around 
11 p.m. Kevin says a case of 85 Fleer would be fun. I actually haven't done 85 Fleer. I was looking over my Throwback Thursday playlist and 85 Fleer is missing. So I haven't done 85 Fleer. I think the other one that's missing is 86 Donruss. So definitely we'll have to do both of those at some point. Brian says, 99% sure my comments aren't being seen. Well, definitely we're seeing Brendan McKay out of 15. Very nice. What position would I play for the Trash Pandas? I don't want to be probably a first baseman. I feel like that would be the easiest position to probably play in a game. They don't actually let you play in the game, but if I did play, I just feel like with the speed of the game and everything... That's probably the only position that I'd actually be able to handle, unless they want me to throw me out on the mound and have me toss some knuckleballs in. Could always do that and probably get shelled, but it'd be fun. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to take batting practice. Um, you get to go through the pregame routine. You get to have a press conference, get your own locker. You get to dress with the team. I think you get to sit in the dugout during the game, but you don't actually get into the game. One Cent Sports Card says, I hit 200 subbers. Doing 10 prizes, 10 winners, Griffey, rookie card, Pokemon, autos, vintage, and more. Keep it up, Jabs. One cent sports cards. Thank you very much for that, that very nice super chat. Really appreciate that. Make sure you guys take a you know, just a second to click on that super chat and go to his channel and give him some subs. Again, thank you so much for your support. First base coach for the game? Maybe. I doubt it, though. Maybe like a bullpen catcher? I feel like they should kind of like, you know, evaluate you in batting practice and see if you're you can actually take part in any kind of like drills. Caleb, you met Zach Campbell. He was in Texas today, wasn't he? Gore for Life says just got a Pete Alonso rookie auto in Bowman Chrome. Love your channel. Thank you very much, Gore for Life. That's a good one right there. If it goes extra innings, they have to use you. That would be funny. A Baltimore Box Breakers with a $2 Super Chat says, Missed the break, was out of state. Hope all had luck. Thank you very much, Triple B. Make sure you guys take a minute and check out Ron. That's Triple B Baltimore Box Breakers. Hopefully you had a nice trip out of state. Hopefully it was for, you know, a little break, a little mini vacation for you. And there's Miguel Amaya signing on his sleeve again. I don't know why he just wouldn't sign on his jersey, so it's easier to see. But Miguel Amaya for the Cubs, that's for Troy R. Very nice. So Caleb, you got in his video. Yeah, I think he went down to Texas for his for the final ever game at Globe Life Park. Visiting relatives in Virginia, that's fun. I like Virginia a lot. Not a lot of baseball card stores there or antique malls that I found. The antique malls that I did visit in Virginia were pretty, pretty lame. In fact, I don't think I released any of them to video because they were so, like, non-baseball related. Just a bunch of crafts and country stuff. But, I don't know, maybe if you go to a different place in Virginia. We've got a Aramis Adamson out of 99. And Andrew Smith with the $2 Super Chat says, you could always be the official ball hawk. Andrew, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I think my ball hawking career is done. I don't really have any time to do that anymore. It's a very, very time-consuming hobby. Like, unless you're Zach where he literally gets paid for doing it because he gets like 100,000 views to a million views per video, which equates to a large sum of money. Corey Ray, by the way, for the San Antonio Missions, I believe that's the Padres. Padres or Brewers, one of those two. Get paid for it like he does. Yeah, that could be your job. But for me, kind of tough to spend, oh, I don't know. I'd leave after work. And basically, that's 3 o'clock to 7.30 down the drain, not even staying for the game. Missing out on seeing my kids. Who do I think will win the World Series this year? I'm going to say the Astros. I missed the D on 30 for 30. I don't have cable, but I don't know if they show that on ESPN or not. That would have been interesting to see. All right, last stack. Already got our hits, so we'll just kind of go through these. 
Eric is the official baseball card hawk. Next year, I want to try to put out some, you know, some different variations of videos. So they're not all baseball cards. Like I used to do the uh, ball hawking videos and baseball. I really wanted to get Wiffle Ball Wednesdays going this year, but it just never happened. I'll have to try that next year. I really feel like playing Wiffle Ball will be a, a nice, fun video to do each week. With me, my brother, Joe's Card Corral from YouTube, us three, and then maybe I could see if I can get any of my grown-up ex-students that were really good baseball players that they want to play, like, you know, that are in college now. So I wouldn't want to ask any current students. That would just be unprofessional, but it might be pretty cool. Let's have some nice, high-quality wiffle ball games with competition. Some good competition. I'd like to go to the Little Fenway. I don't know if you've ever seen Little Fenway. It's this wiffle ball field that literally looks like a small-scale version of Fenway. I don't know if you have to pay to play there, if it's only in tournaments, but that would be cool to do a video on that field. Go up there, do something from there. All right, next box. We've got a hit coming up, and it is going to be a Brian Mata from, it looks like that's a Red Sox organization, Red Sox affiliate, based on the Red Sox team name there. So that's going to the Red Sox owner, which is Brian S. Congrats on that one. Did you find any Pete Alonso autos in your past breaks? Oh, yeah, we found plenty of Pete Alonso autos over the past um, couple months of breaking. 357 MAGA says, MLB postseason bracket challenge on MLB website. 357 MAGA, thank you very much. Yeah, everybody, if you want to try to win 250000 bucks, fill out that bracket. And if you have a perfect bracket, you got a chance to win $250,000. Which I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a bunch of people are going to get it right. So I wonder if they'd do like a raffle if you get it right, or if everyone just gets a share of the $250,000. I don't know how that would work. Serious Card says, in the vid I uploaded today, I pulled a Schusterman Mints Dual Auto. Alan and Ginter, really? Thank you, Serious Cards. I don't even know who those guys are, but it sounds like an Alan and Ginter type thing, so check it out. Serious Cards doesn't seem too thrilled about that, so make sure you watch that video and check out his reaction. should be pretty interesting. Thank you very much for that super chat. I always think that 45, I see the blue, and then I stop because I think it's an auto. You gotta be careful with some of these autos. Sometimes the players sneak them in there and in in inconspicuous places. I can't even talk anymore, it's getting late. Mateo Gill out of 50. Need a bottle of water here soon. How does my wife put up with this? Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. That is a good one. So we've got a pretty much all the good rookie prospects. That one goes out to Cardinals, James T. Congratulations, James T. On number one draft pick, Nolan Gorman. I don't know how she puts up with this. I want to find like a, I don't know, like an office space somewhere to move all my stuff to, like all my baseball stuff, so she can kind of have the house back because my baseball stuff takes up multiple rooms. I almost feel like I'm kind of like a hoarder of baseball cards. Especially the garage. Gore for Life. There is a, a link, I think a link in the description for Patreon where you can click become a Patreon button and uh, decide what level you'd like to sign up for. Thank you very much for considering it. How do any of our wives put up with our interest? That's true. That is true. So we already got our hit, so this is just going to be base. One cent says, I'm sad the baseball season is over, the regular season, and update is on the way. Yeah, update's coming up. Not too much longer. All right. Speaking of not too much longer, this break is winding down. Only two boxes left. This is box number five of six, and then that'll be a wrap. Just pulled a Nolan Gorman, nice Cardinals auto. Let's see if we can get one more nice hit before wrapping this up for the night. 
Who's the Astros owner? No idea. Then it used to be like Dayton McLean or something like that. I don't know who it is. Whoever our resident Astros super fan is would know. What do these boxes retail for? I think it's like 60 bucks, one cent. No Oakland A's hits in the entire break. Well, Andrew, we had Jesus Lusardo relic in the uh, break A, the preview video. I know that one for sure. It was the 1970 nickel relic. Jim Crane. Drayton McLean was the owner. Okay, Drayton. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. I always get faked out on those glove laces. I see the blue and think that it's a blue signature there. Here's out of 50, Luis Garcia batting leaders. Jim Crane's the current owner. Well, he's got a good thing going for him down in Houston. He's got the best team in baseball. And there we go. Carlos Cortez from the Cyclones, Brooklyn Cyclones. Do you guys say that's the Mets, I think? I believe you said that's the Mets. And it is a black border out of 50. Very, very nice. That one goes out to the Mets owner, I believe, Christopher G. Brian, the Phillies fan, is not a big fan of the Phillies. And Kevin Joe says, I think we're heritaged out at this point. Kevin, I agree. I think a lot of people by this time, I mean, we had our regular heritage. Then a month ago, we had heritage high number. And Topps is hitting us one more time with heritage. So <laughs> this is going to be the last one. Caleb, you still haven't gotten your Chronicles. I'll check into that. I know there's a couple left. that I think there's like six left that I got to get out. I will check into that as soon as we're done here. Let's see if we can find a relic. And here comes the relic. It's a Ronaldo Hernandez from the Rays. That one's going out to Eben L. Eben L, congratulations on your Ronaldo Hernandez. Sometimes I get him confused with Wander Franco just going through quickly if I see a, a Rays player in a break like this. I'll be like, wait a minute, is that Wander? Nope, it's not. And so this last one will have nothing but base. I'll still go through it because there might be a nice numbered card. We did have one box that had two autos in it. One of them was an one of them was the Wander Redemption. Kevin Jones got a $15 offer on his red ink Cedric Mullins from the last Heritage Break and couldn't part with it for 15 bucks. That's pretty funny. Cedric Mullins getting an offer on an auto. That's pretty good. One Cent Sports Card says, Eric, we got your junk wax appreciation mail yesterday. You hooked us up. Thanks. My son and I recorded us opening it. One Cent. Thank you very much for buying into that break. Glad you guys enjoyed that one. That was a fun one. Reliving all the cards from our childhoods. And um, 357 MAGA says, will Gabe Kapler be back this year? Next year, I would say yes, just because I feel like the ownership loves the guy from what I've heard. Thank you very much for that super chat. I know a lot of Phillies fans probably don't want to hear that, but I feel Kapler will be back. That's just a hunch. Ryan, Phillies fan, says no barf, barf, barf. Sorry, Ryan. That's just, um, I mean, that's from a guy that lives near Pittsburgh, so it's just from what I've heard from... Um, around the way. Caleb wants my ball hawking device. Caleb, I'll tell you what, it's really easy to, to build. You can easily make one in literally five minutes. Just take a light bulb changer, tape it down so it's slightly smaller than the circumference of a baseball, and tape it to the end of a golf ball retriever. It's literally, that's all it is. It took me like five minutes to invent that. The golf ball retriever cost $50 to buy in a golf pro shop to buy the tw the 20 foot one, buy the longest one. And uh, you can be picking up balls all season long down there at the new Rangers ballpark with it if you're allowed to have it in. The nice thing about it, it collapses down into the size of your book bag. It used to be a nice thing in Pittsburgh until everyone started copying me. And then once everybody had one, it wasn't as fun to use anymore. I used to just pick them up off the warning track and give them to the kids. 
Then you had these other people that were coming along and just grabbing them off the warning track and stuffing them in their backpacks. I was like, okay. I didn't give you permission to use my design. There's Jake McCarthy. This one goes out to, once again, the Arizona Diamondbacks, which is John D. Congratulations, John. What stadium confiscated? It was never confiscated. Um, I was told not to use it anymore by the Pirates because everybody copied it, and then it got ridiculous that a ball would come to the warning track. There'd be like five different golf ball retrievers going over to get it, and um, a lot of the people that copied it didn't have any restraint. Like, a player would be coming to pick the ball up, and they would just, like, stick their golf ball retriever out right in the player's face. Like, what are you doing? Like, my kind of, like, rule was if the ball, they're just going to let the ball sit there, I'll just get it for them, and I'll just give it to the nearest kid. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video on that someday so you guys can see how to make it. Caleb says, can you make a video on how to make it? Well, Caleb, you and I just were thinking the exact same thing. Royals are needing a new manager. Would love to have Madden. There's a lot of managerial openings this year, this coming year. There's a nice Evan White from the Mariners out of 99. And we still need to get our relic, I think. Did we get our relic yet? I can't remember. I don't think we did. Here it comes. Evan White from the Mariners, right? So that one goes out to Justin R., Justin R. Congratulations, Evan White. Going to be a slugger, it looks like. Fix your mower video. I still need to get on that. My grass just gets longer every, every day. I'm going to be like the... Getting dirty looks from the neighbors soon. Luckily, it's the end of the season. The grass isn't growing that fast. All right, so we got our two hits. This is the last box, so this is the last stack. It's going to be mostly just commons. And then we'll also do the super baseball ones for you. The hit of the night was an $800 Wander Franco out of 25 autograph redemption. Also had a bunch of nice top prospects like Joey Bart and Seth Beer and Casey Mize and Nico Horner and no Tim Tebow yet. Well, we're not going to get Tebow because we're done with this break. But it was still still fun. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for watching. Glad you stopped by to watch all these prospects being open. I know a lot of you guys don't like minor league baseball, and a lot of you guys don't like the 70 design and your heritage out, like Kevin said. But still fun to go through with you guys. I try to do every new release. The next release that I'm likely going to do is 2019 Tops, not Tops, Panini National Treasures. There's an Elihuris Montero for the Cardinals. We'll probably do that one on, I'm thinking Tuesday. It was close to being sold out when we started this break. I just put it on sale like at 6 p.m. tonight. Nick Madrigal. So that's for sale on Patreon right now via eBay. You can check that one out. And Contenders Draft Picks also comes. I don't know if I'm going to probably push that one back a little bit. Buy another Treasures case and sell by the box. I'm in, Andrew. Okay, maybe. Saley Matias is up next. The only thing about selling by the box is that not a lot of people can get a spot. Tristan Casas. And the last one, the last box loader is Wander Franco. So that will conclude this break. And on our way out the door, Andrew Smith with a nice $2 donation says, Good night, Eric. Have fun teaching tomorrow. Andrew, thank you very much for that nice super chat, guys. Make sure you check out Andrew. I hope you guys all have a great week ahead of you. And Kevin Joe says, time to get into football, Eric. Laugh out loud. Thank you very much for that. I don't think I could ever do football. I'm just not a football guy. And another one on the way out the door. Prime Man says, check out Dave Durango. He's getting close to 1,000. If you haven't checked him out tonight, do so. Prime Man, thank you very much for that super chat. Guys, make sure you check out Dave Durango. I'm hoping he can get to 1,000 this week. Um, so thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Andrew, and thank you, Prime Ant, and thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a great work week ahead of you. I'll probably see you probably Tuesday for a live stream. I'll put the uh, exact date and time that we do National Treasures. 
um, on Patreon and on the community tab so you guys can stay up to date. And then also, we're likely going to do Heritage, uh, not Heritage, I keep saying Heritage because I'm all heritaged out. We're also going to do Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition. I'll probably put that on sale tomorrow and we'll break that likely on Wednesday. That's going to be a fun one. Looking for all those old Hall of Famers and recap the hits. Sure, you got it, man. Evan says recap the hits from break H. Here's the H hits one last time. Um, Nolan Gorman was probably the best one of that round, in my opinion. Royce Lewis is a good one, too, but it's not an auto. Travis Swaggerty is a good one, number one draft pick there. So that's it. Thanks for being here. Got a few more live streams coming up. Lots of different videos in the works. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And um, I'm going to see you later on this week on Tuesday for National Treasure. So take care, everybody. Thank you for watching, and good night.